Hello, neighbors. Welcome or welcome back to the neighborhood. I'm Squealer D and I am back again. And this time, neighbors, we have three of Amy's videos, her shopping video, and the two videos where she rearranged her kitchen again. And we've edited them all down into 45 minutes and we are going to commentate the heck out of them. Grab yourself something to drink, buckle in, and let's get started. See what she's up to. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is grocery shopping day and I have my handy trusty shopper with Yay, they get to restock their macaroni and cheese and ramen. Yes. Me, it is not Greg. It is Madeline, your favorite. Madeline, your favorite. Madeline, the second least liked it behind Gregor because the fans don't remember how much they disliked Lauren. Maddie, you will soon learn as a child that the people that comment on your mom's videos only want to see your mom. They say that they want to see you and then they say you're annoying. Just stay off of the channel. You don't get paid for it anyway. Just stay off the channel. You and Greg. So we are out. It's, it seems like we've been in the car for an hour. Actually, we almost yeah. have been. Yeah, it's the um, drive. I forget. I forget. I forget. We are going to do our shopping day. It's going to be a busy day. We have to do Sam's Club right now. We have about one hour. That's it. An hour and five minutes. And then we have to leave here. <laughs> so that way. So uh, once again, her whole channel, she has an hour and five minutes. We are on a schedule, people. I wonder why. Brooklyn's work. We can ensure enough time to drive home, get those groceries unloaded, do a quick haul, put the cold stuff away, hopefully, and then take Brooklyn to work. Yeah. And then Brooklyn's going to go to work, and then Maddie's going to jump back in the car with me, and we're going to go to Walmart today and probably... That makes perfect sense. Wake Maddie up really early, take her out to go grocery shopping, do it in a rush so that you forget things and miss things, Take Brooklyn to work at her part-time slash full-time job at 16 years old. It makes sense that you would put that before your channel when your channel pays your mortgage. You are doing hot, Amy. I am, gra I am really glad we're starting off like this. We're starting off with a bang. Publix is what I'm thinking if we have to I don't know so it's gonna be a busy day and then we're also have to do like school in there and life and everything else. So it, it's a busy day today so I'm like... They're not going to do school. Are you ready? Are you ready? And I'm like, we're so tired. We're like, okay, I don't even know. <laughs> so we're going to. Maddie is not used to waking up before noon. I can't believe how tired Maddie probably is. It is 8 a.m. Maddie is probably, her eyeballs are probably still sticking together. Go in. Sam's Club here. I was going to order everything. I'm like, you know what? Let's just go in and um, see what we can find. So, but. Why don't you be honest and say you tried to make the order, but it said everything was sold out, so you had to go in. Today's video is going to be in collaboration with my Amy, why are you always misleading? Why don't you just be honest? My friend Megan from The Grocery Lady. I doubt that this is your friend. I think that you YouTube mamas all just call each other friends. But shame on you, Amy. I've never watched one of your videos. Or what, what did she say her name was? I don't remember, but shame on you, grocery lady, for wanting to collab with Amy. Like, I'm sure that you're a unschooling mama and you make nasty food and buy horrendously processed stuff, just like Amy, if you're willing to collab with her just for a little bit of clout. In central Illinois that loves to save money, especially on groceries. I mean, who doesn't? I do as well. Because we're out of food, are we not? Yeah, we're out of food. Like <laughs> There's nothing. Poor kids. They have to eat trash all week, and then at the end of shopping, there's absolutely nothing. Not even trash. <laughs> no, we have tater tot casserole, but <laughs> Oh, you have the old dry tater tot casserole. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> tater tot casserole. Some it's only been there for like three days. Almond milk, I think, in there. So it's sweet and some sauces. We need some stuff to go with those sauces. So we're going to go in. Let's go see the goodies we can find. They do sell pumpkins in Florida. Amy, whatever made you think that there wouldn't be pumpkins in Florida? Whatever made you think that there would be a cheetah in the tree? Why do you think the things that you think? I bet you they would get too moldy. <laughs> Maddie's going to be my muscle girl today. Maddie has to be your muscle girl, and Maddie's clothes are too small for her. Stop dressing Maddie like she's an orphan. And if she's dressing herself, 
Maybe it's time for you to help her. Maddie is always wearing clothes that is too small. You live in a $650,000 house. She does not need to look like an orphan every single time we see her. Right here? Yes. Okay, then I see this. Look at this on sale. It's a dollar. We only save a dollar. We love ranch. We don't need ranch, though. We definitely do need ranch. But Everybody needs ranch. But I think we have... We definitely do need ranch. Everybody uses ranch. She is not going to pay $10 for that ranch for those kids. Heck no. Two more in the fridge, but that is, I guess it's only a dollar, so it's no big deal. Okay, okay. It's no big deal, but she just said that they wanted it and they need it. She never gets anything that anybody wants but her. Sometimes she rewards Greg and lets him get what he wants, but nobody gets what they want ever. We got, we got three still at home, so we still got enough for a little while. The kids like hot sauce. You still have three, Maddie, and she makes the nasty homemade ones all the time. Calm down. She'll make you a nasty finger-touched one. And I guess I'm always out, so here's a three-pack. It's only this Crystal Hot Sauce Good in Louisiana for $3. So you cannot get the $10 ranch, Maddie, no matter how much you do for this woman, but you can get the $3 hot sauce because it's cheap. And then, Amy, in your comments, you always say that you do your comments, but the day that you bought this, the day, no, it wasn't the day you bought this because you post your videos so wonkity donkity. The day you posted this, somebody said that they loved Crystal Hot Sauce in your comments, and you want to know what your response was? I'll have to give it a try, dot, dot, dot. You just purchased it. You didn't even know you purchased it. Who really writes your comments? Are you that out of it? that you didn't realize that they were saying that they love the hot sauce that you purchased in the video you just posted? Like, come on, Amy. Click, 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 click. Why aren't your neurons firing, bro? We'll hope it's good. I know, hopefully that's good. We'll see, we'll try it. All right, we did good in there, so not bad. Had a good job getting groceries and loading them all in here. She shops like a college student that doesn't have a kitchen, like all of this stuff processed 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 every bit of it like she doesn't have a way to cook it was like 340 350 with my online i had sam's cash you had sam's cash free money of course you did because you probably grifted it you got cheerios nobody likes cheerios greg told you that months years ago nobody likes cheerios you tried to put them in the snack mix nobody likes cheerios amy that was like I figured like last month I kind of figured about 200 per person so that gave us about 1600 just because prices are much more here now so I think I spent about 1500 last month so I'm at 350 right here just with this prices are much more but at least you're not feeding them prison food from the discount stores like that food was actual institutional quality meaning like for prisons and institutionalized schools, things like that, group homes. And Amy readily fed it to her children every night. At least you're not feeding them that. Now you're just feeding them great value slop. So not bad, not bad for two weeks worth. And then I'm gonna have to go to Walmart, probably spend maybe about the same, probably about 300. So about half, that's about good. So now there's a gas station over here. We're gonna go at Sam's Club Gas because it's cheap. And then but she refused to even try to get Costco gas because it was cheap. She didn't care, she said at the time. I just like to get whatever's close. You're such a liar, Amy. You just didn't want to deal with Costco gas because for some reason, in your mind, Costco wasn't good enough for you. I'm going to tell you what it was. Costco was too rich for your blood. Oh, put the cold stuff away and then we got time to run Brooklyn and then we'll uh, run and do some more shopping. Home now. These are the groceries we got from Sam's Club. We picked up some syrup because we are out. Sugar. Processed. I don't have any grape jelly, so I needed that. She has like five strawberry jellies up in the cupboard that she brought from North Carolina, but no grape supposedly, and she has to have grape. Okay, Amy, because your kids, strawberry and grape, it doesn't matter how much or what it is, it's all the same amount of sugar. Come on. I noticed she paid 10 or $11 for her cashews. She wouldn't get... Uh, the ranch that Maddie wanted, but she sure paid that 10 or $12 for her cashews she wanted. I know they're going to be. And then I got these. You can just get a whole box of them. Of course you got those because you always buy those. Those are a staple for your children. That's mostly what they eat. They do not like your cooking, so they eat cup of noodles.
Usually, because instead of buying, I think, a six-pack at Walmart, it's about the same price. This will be good for a lunch. Chips, because we're going to do walking tacos. And this, because we have hamburgers. And I just need to get some dip at Walmart when I go. Hamburgers and chips. Sandwiches and chips. Sandwiches, hamburgers, french fries, and chips. That is her children's everyday menu. So, this, because I'm out. I got sugar there because I... Of course you need more sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar. Because when you're not feeding your kids processed foods with sugar in it, you're making them processed desserts with sugar in it. Your kids are going to get scurvy and, or diabetes, either one of them. Your children are going to have health defects because of the way you feed them. And you literally do not care. It's crazy. Saw it instead of getting it at Walmart. Kids like this. Two of these because that was about the only fruit that was not too crazily overpriced. So I got two of those. Crazily overpriced. Two bread, two hamburger buns. I got a chicken, two meat, and sausage. Cereal. Yeah, we went for Cheerios. We're going to do honey nut, but this was on sale. So we got this one. I'm up. Your kids don't like Cheerios, Greg. I already told you. You put them in the snack mix and they didn't want them out of there either. Stop buying your kids things that they don't like just because they're cheap. These two boxes were like six bucks. You think Amy was going to pay nine dollars for the good cereal that her kids would have preferred? Heck no, because they would have eaten it down too fast. And she buys this because they won't eat it until there's nothing left. I got the cub Cubano bread, Cuban bread, which basically I think is going to be like French bread. No, Amy, it's like Cubano bread. You know, Cubano bread from Cuba is like Cuban bread. French bread is from France, and it's like French bread. Got it? It's not the same. You're being very disrespectful to an entire culture because, once again, you know nothing. But you'll eat the food because it's good, it's great, it's delicious, and it's cheap. These, and then we're going to use them for, um, like, with a good cheesy buttery topping with that. And then bananas. we got ten bananas in here. Why would you even buy the Cubanos? Why wouldn't you buy French bread to make your French bread? Why would you do that? Here, I got lettuce here, carrots, cucumbers. We got some plums, green peppers, mushrooms, lettuce, and grapes. And then over here, we got some flour tortillas. We got cheese. It's literally all processed foods. Every bit of it. Cheese tortillas every bit of it she has enough produce for maybe two to three days for her whole family cheese strawberries i gotta put these in the freezer before they freeze solid look at all this cheese five pounds of cheese two pounds of cheese 160 slices how heavy is this thing what is this let's see how heavy it is where is it I don't know. I can't see it. It's over there. She slices. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Maddie wanted some of this. That's like another two pounds. Holy cow. That's like nine pounds of cheese just right there. And Maddie wanted this. What? Maddie drinks coffee? And why would you buy full sugar if Maddie wanted this? Why wouldn't you buy the sugar-free one and take the opportunity to cut back on sugar for your children? Stop buying your kids this. And this. Children do not need drinks that are have calories in them. Please feed them nutritious foods. Do not give them drinks with calories. And some of this. So not bad. $350. Sure doesn't buy you much, does it? <laughs> no, especially when you shop like you're a teenager that just went away to college. <laughs> Where's all your produce? Where's your green leafy vegetables? This is all the meat that she got, guys. She got two chubs and a chub of sausage so they're going to eat everything that they're going to eat is what? Going to be this hamburger meat and this one pack of chicken for a month? Are you serious? This is not enough protein for Greg for the month. She has eight people in her family. This is ludicrous. That's by much. Okay. And then we're going to go head take Brooklyn in about a half hour and then go to Walmart and finish up the rest. She can make oatmeal. She has so much oatmeal in her storage rather than buy cereal, processed cereal for breakfast. She could get by with making oatmeal and other things for breakfast, but she's too freaking lazy. She would rather give her kids this frost processed food and pay the extra amount and create 
later problems in their life. She does not care about herself. Why would she care about her children? So in the future, her children are going to have diseases. Stand up to your mother, children. I know you watch these videos because your mother does not care about you. Stand up to your mother. It doesn't matter if you want it or not. You need healthy food. You are going to get scurvy. Google it. You are going to get gout. Google it. You are going to get diabetes. Google it. Please don't worry about what your mother says. You have older siblings that will help you if you really need help out of that situation. I am talking directly to you, children. You do not have to put up with what your mother does to you. Okay, you are all teenagers now. Even you, Stephen. You guys can tell somebody if you need help. What your mother does is not okay just because she's your mother. You need to eat healthy food or you are going to be unhealthy. That's the law of the land. Just because you eat unhealthy right now doesn't mean you can eat unhealthy forever. It's going to catch up to you and it's going to be later down in life and you're not going to have the money to help yourself. You're going to end up in an in-home care patient center where the government pays for and it's going to be horrific and I promise you, your mother is not going to care. She is not saving for her retirement, let alone saving for your retirement or future medical care. Okay? Okay, snack to take with us. So I got peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Maddie's got one. So Maddie goes and helps her mother all day long. She wakes up early in the morning. You know she didn't eat anything before she left. She woke up. She Her eyes were still sticking together. She was tired. She could barely talk. She was moping around at the whole time. It was because she was tired. She's not used to waking up this early. And did she get to go to Starbucks and get a, a nice treat, a nice drink, or, or a nice, you know, sandwich with mother? No. She's not like Greg. Mom doesn't care about Maddie. Does Maddie get to go to Culver's as a treat for lunch for helping mother out? No. Why? Because mom is cheap. Instead, mom gives Maddie a 390 calorie peanut butter and jelly sandwich with 12 grams of protein that's not nearly enough for a teen on the go. I'm pretty sure that this is all she provided. They both said that there was no other food at home. So Greg gets rewarded when he goes to the store and buys one item. He can go to Lowe's with Amy and buy one item and he gets Starbucks and whatever else his little heart desires. But Maddie could go with her mother and help all day. And all she gets is a dry old PB&J. Like, dang. No wonder her kids don't want to do chores or help her. If this is what I got as payment for helping her, lifting everything for her, shoot. Refilled my water with some vitamin C. We're going to go head out and take work on to work. We made it back in the car. Maddie did come. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it. She, you weren't sure if she was going to make it because you gave her a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like she's supposed to run her body for the whole day off of a PB and J. She is a little tired. I was like, are you coming or are you not? She's like, yes, I'm coming. So we were going to go to a different Walmart. And then, um, I was talking to Greg and he's like, why don't you go to the one over on our side? So I'm going to, we're going to try a new one, but I have to hit a Publix because I have to get cheese for Jensen. They have the diet cheese. And she has to get cheese for Jensen guys. Cause he gets horrible diarrhea and gas. In case you didn't know, he has pure bubble gutted nightmares in his pants. You know, in case you didn't know, she wants to make sure you know Jensen has bubble guts. I just get it, but I don't think Walmart, I'm pretty sure Walmart doesn't have the shredded cheese. They had the cheese slices, I think. Her life is so difficult because Jensen has a stomach issue. She needs you to understand this. That's why her life gets so crazy. We're coming over by Detweiler's Farm Market. So Maddie, I said, this is the snack store, like superstore. <laughs> so, as you can go and get tons of little snacky foods. Just, you know, like Yay, she can finally get something to eat because Amy couldn't provide her with anything. She brought her to Detweiler's to get free samples. Thank goodness. Free sample, free sample foods. I said, and then I'll go in here and get my cheese because I'm pretty sure they have all those kind of that brand cheese in here. So, And then I'm also going to get some sprouts because I got sprouts last time and loved them here. 
She came here to get her sprouts because she liked them on her sandwiches. She did not come here for Jensen's cheese. She knows that the cheese that he likes was specifically at that Walmart across town and Publix. And bread, so that's gonna work out good. So we're gonna go in here and just pick up those few things and then Walmart's right around the corner. We'll go ahead there. What'd you think of the store? I liked it. Was it kind of like a store? I would say it's like a fun little store just to stop in. So a lot of veggies there that the other store didn't have, which was good. So got those. Lots of veggies to her means what? Celery and cucumbers. So now I think Walmart is pretty much, I think it's right here. So we're going to go over here and go to Walmart. The bougie. We're at Walmart. We're at a different Walmart. At Walmart. The bougie Walmart. Yeah, Madeline. Because Walmarts are bougie. So we're going to go in and see. Maybe they have blueberry coffee creamer. <gasps> Could they? <gasps> That's the we're going to go best. see. So we're going to go in and. Madeline is 12 years old talking about blueberry coffee creamer is the best. It's full sugar. So... Why are you drinking coffee creamer, Madeline? You're 12. Don't drink coffee. It's not healthy for you. You do not eat healthy enough food. You definitely don't need to add coffee and coffee creamer to your diet. Red sauce. Not bad. We got a lot of stuff. I just she said red sauce. No, Amy. It's called Frank's Red Hot Sauce, not red sauce. Gotta run back and go get some bologna for Greg for work. I did it. Bologna for Greg for work. I call bologna on Greg going to work. You're going to get bologna because your kids like bologna and Greg likes bologna. And it's very cheap to pretend to make him work sandwiches. And he'll eat them with that big old belly of his. So it's a win, 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 win. You get to pretend you make lunches. He gets his bologna and you don't have to spend a lot. And your followers all think that he works. Wow. She got them all in here. Look at that. We like filled up the car once again. Okay, we did it. We done it. A little bit. Later. You filled it up once again with processed foods. Everything in a box. Nothing from the ba Nothing. Nothing from any of the departments you should have got it. Like the meat. Where's all the meat, Amy? I guess it's come to be expected for maybe at Walmart. So that's okay. So just kind of substitute my head. The only thing they didn't have that I do need is dairy-free sour cream. I'm like, uh. Yeah, that's a necessity because Jensen, once again, if she doesn't get him the right cheese, he will poo his pants, guys. She, now she got to go make a special trip for the sour cream. So I will have to pick Brooklyn up from work. I will probably just have it Publix. I'm sure they will have it. Hopefully they will. I don't remember if they do or not. I'll have to learn which stores have which things. So they didn't have it. Of course, it doesn't suit you to remember, right? Who cares? It's just for Jensen. Detweilers, they didn't have it at this Walmart. I know they have it at other Walmart, but we'll see. So we're gonna go head home. We'll show what we got. Okay, Walmart grocery haul. So we so she got two gallons of milk this time for the whole month for eight people, and only two of them can't drink that kind of milk. So six people have to share two gallons of milk. But she bought cereal. A gallon only gives eight, uh, six people, what, two servings each out of the whole gallon? That's two servings each? Are they only going to eat cereal four times a whole month? Yeah, right. Two things of eggs. Energy drink Greg likes milk. I got of course, you got Greg, uh, expensive case of energy drinks. Do you see anything for the children that is expensive like that or extra? No. She only buys what she makes for her channel and the kids get to eat that. Whether they like it or not. White bread because Greg likes that for sandwiches, so I get it. White bread because Greg likes that for sandwiches. But the kids get anything else, like old naan that she found in the freezer that she burnt to a crisp. The milk, the lactose-free, they didn't have the regular kind, so we're hoping these will be good right here. This. So she only got two of everything. This is not going to last even two weeks. This blue bonnet is not butter. Stop calling it butter. This is margarine, Amy. And margarine is high in trans fats. You should not eat it. Stop giving it to your kids. It's not the same as butter. Just for cooking and baking. And then we got some parboiled rice. That was totally out of rice. I only need Imagine being a homemaker and cooking and baking with margarine. I've never heard of that. One of these. And then I caught mixed vegetables. Just a bunch of bags here. Okay. Frozen, 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 frozen. Everything is always frozen for her family. Tater tots, hash browns, corn in the cob, mixing, barking away out there. That's her idea of buying the kids produce. Frozen peas and carrots and frozen corn. None of those are good vegetables for your children. Please Google healthy vegetables for my children, Amy. I know you have a Google Home. Ask it.
Biscuits, because we're gonna do some stuffed biscuits. Red sauce. Biscuits, because you guys don't already eat enough crap. Sauce. Kids want to smell this. I haven't had this in a long time. For it's not called red sauce. It says right there, Frank's Red Hot. It doesn't say reds anywhere. Forgot about it. Need that for the kids. Her kids are 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, and 18. And they still use the kids' anti-cavity fluoride rinse. This, because we like this one. I couldn't find any hairspray at all, which was really weird. So I got gel. Hopefully that works. Ooh, Amy with gel. That's going to be great. And, of course, she got full sugar soda. This is for the slushy for one weekend. Apples, I picked some up at Walmart. I don't know. I was looking at Debt Wilders. I didn't see any, like, individual. I probably just got them at Sam's Club because I feel like I paid six something dollars and there wasn't very many but it's all good your kids don't even eat apples why do you keep buying them so you can pretend you have produce for your children it's ridiculous live and learn this can be for recipe corn syrup did get tomatoes again imagine a homemaker mother buying corn syrup like that to feed her children amy that is unhealthy for them please stop giving your kids things that should not be fed to them this one Jensen likes, so we can put this in the freezer. Oh, this oh is of course. Be of course. She had to make sure she got Jensen the cheese that he likes when she makes pizzas because if she doesn't, you know, get those, then Jensen will poo-poo his pants because Jensen gets diarrhea and horrible stomach aches when he ever eats lactose. Right there. Imagine when Jensen starts talking to girls and they find out from his mother that... He has a diarrhea issue. Imagine Amy ever telling her followers that she has diarrhea. She doesn't care because it's Jensen. It's something for her to talk about, something for her followers to clutch onto, something for her haters to laugh about, and something for J Jensen to be embarrassed about. But she doesn't care. Let her make a little bit of money off of it. Will Jensen see any of that money? Hell no. And I got sprouts because I love the sprouts. She's a homemaker and she buys potatoes in a can. So this will last for but she buys herself sprouts. A little bit longer. Strawberries were real cheap, so I got strawberries, a cabbage head, and I got this one because I'm going to Eight people and she buys one cabbage head. Making a lasagna and um, we'll try this one. It's she had to try that for Jensen because he has stomach issues. Tofuti, we'll try celery because they didn't have any. She couldn't just put all of the... the sh all of this poopy stomach issue stuff in one pile and say, okay, this is what I got Jensen. No, nope. she has to point out every single item that is for him specifically to show what a great mom she is, all the while making Jensen look like a poop factory. Well done. He's 13. I'm sure he wants everybody to know what the diarrhea specifically looks like in his pants which are leaking everywhere blackberries were really cheap this is dinner tonight why does it look like she kicked those pizzas into the back of the car pizza when you have a shopping day I'll give you some it's because she throws everything she threw them into the car she threw them into the back of the car she threw them into the house she throws everything grace like yes you just went shopping yes you just got all these groceries so the last thing you want to do is make food i know it's ridiculous it's ridiculous so why People do it all the time. They go grocery shopping, they come home, they cook dinner, they go to work, they come home, take care of a baby, change diapers. People literally do this all the time for 18 years straight. They don't go through seasons and take breaks and neglect their children. They actually parent for the child's whole life. Wow, huh? Ashlyn, imagine if your mom would have been a, a mother to you for 18 years. Oh, the places you could have went. <laughs> right, some pizzas right here. And then she laughs about it because it's so funny to feed her kids trash. Because look at her house. It's trash. She paid $650,000 to live in a trash bin. Diet and these, this, this was, I think these are six or seven. I'm going to say seven, 14. These are like four. So for the other kids, she spent $4, $4, and $4. But for Jensen, because he has a special tummy, he's special. Jensen's special, aren't you, Jensen? Tell everybody how you're special. You get $7 pizzas. Okay. 14 and 12, that is $26 
cheaper than eating out anywhere. So she spent $27 for dinner tonight and she's bragging about it. And her kids always have tummy aches and she wonders why. Probably, Amy, because you feed them $27 frozen pizzas on the reg like it's funny. Lasagna. I never get the oven ready lasagna. I'm going to try that for my lasagna. Um, country Why wouldn't you? I'm surprised you don't get the oven ready lasagna. You know, the ones that you just pop in there, the Stouffer's ones. Your kids would probably like it more. Promise. For our stuffed gravy, and I got... For a homemaker, you sure don't know how to home make some gravy. This one for a meatloafy one. I got french fries here. I think I showed that. A meatloafy one. And then... This of course you got french fries. This for, I remember we're going to do that shark thing. We never went shark tooth hunting because of the hurricane. So... The hurricane disrupted your shark tooth hunting, so instead you got the kids gummy sharks? Oh, I got gummy sharks, so we can... That's so smart, because they're going to learn so much eating those. They're going to be like third grade all over again. Use those. They're going to learn everything from third grade in one day when they eat these gummy sharks. Don't believe me? Look it up. Need this for something that broke? Need this because I really... This is because she throws things at Greg. I've watched a couple old ones where she, where he has like wounds on his face and unless it's from the sugar that he puts in his boogers, then she threw something at him. She chucked it and hit him right in the face. She chucks things and breaks things because she needs these all the time. If she doesn't chuck things and break things, who does? habit and then french onion dip they like with the other chips sour cream we like it in squeezy ricotta for this is for lasagna another sour cream for another rest this is so much milky products so much milky products her kids are going to have hormonal issues okay i can't remember what this one is for exactly i'm gonna have to look that up but i do need to go get a dairy free one they didn't have dairy free anywhere so i'm gonna have to look for that and then i'm doing a recipe like a fun snacky thing and I was came across chocolate covered pretzels, and I'm like, you know, six dollars for this bag, and I'm like, I can get a dollar, maybe two dollar bag of pretzels, however much this is, and make my own. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got chocolate and vanilla, is what they had, and this goes. Yeah, but they're not gonna taste as good. And then on top of that, look, you're making double the amount. Your kids need double the amount of chocolate covered pretzels. No, they don't. They don't even need enough normal food. They definitely don't need all of this crap. M&M's and did you know that they don't sell M&M's in other countries only in America because you only you in America are dumb enough to feed these to your children. They actually have things in them that other countries won't even allow you to sell to your children. There's Reese's pieces. Of and did you understand how much she pays for those things? These big bags of candy are 12 and 13 and 14 dollars each at Walmart. Like Amy can't afford expensive things for her kids but she'll get big old bags of treats for her those in there she gets the kids the dollar 98 animal crackers for chili <clears throat> um this it was kind of like purchase as i was looking so there's a couple of recipes i had in my head to make so you'll see those pretzels are going to be needed for it that sounds like a great recipe pretzels will be needed for it oreo cookies are needed for it and then i found chocolate cereal and honey graham cereal is going to be needed for it. And then we're going to do more cereal. We got these for our soda machine because they like this. Cheap bologna for work for Greg. And then they like it and it's cheap. It's not. It's more expensive than water. Your children should be drinking water. It doesn't even appear that any of your children drink water. I have never seen your children even get a water container and drink water ever, ever. When you go to the beach, you bring back every water bottle you ever bought. Every time you buy water, we see your your freezers in the in the garage are full of them. You never have a water bottle sitting around your house because nobody in your house drinks water. That's why it's so hard for you to drink one of those cups of water every day because you and your children do not drink water. They don't need those soda dri drops. They need water, Amy. We're going to be making puppy chow right here, and then we're going to be doing... Um, the other, it's like that's a, what they need. Puppy chow. It's like a mix cereal thing, but I saw they had caramel apple right here. So we'll try them. We'll just put it. Imagine being so cheap that instead of buying your kids treats to eat, you buy cereal as treats like sweetened cereal. That's what people do for babies. They give a baby some Cheerios so they can learn, 
you know, hand-eye coordination picking up the Cheerios. Not Amy. Amy buys cocoa roux and caramel apple cereal as snacks because she's too cheap to actually buy snacks for her kids. It's rice squares and then Which is why she mixes them all together, like puppy chow, the garbage bag, the garbage bag snack mix. She mixes all that up because this cereal right here costs. I don't know what did she pay for that cereal probably freaking 298 at Walmart and this is 20 something servings right or 12 servings and that means that each serving is less than 50 cents so it's very cheap as a snack for children and Amy gets it for her kids not understanding the amount of sugars in it time so there we go so not bad this was about 275 she spent six hundred dollars on all of this process crap like she doesn't have a lot of food here there's no meat that meat was all the meat she got for all of this so about half the price um that produce was all the produce she got from when I went grocery shopping for the month. It's actually not bad for all of it. So feeling good, this will definitely last over two weeks. I just have to stop when I go pick up Brooklyn today. In about another hour I have to leave, I will go get, um, I have to go. All they're gonna have is hot dogs, spaghetti, hamburgers, because she bought all that hamburger meat, spaghetti, hamburger meat, and the same thing they've been eating, the pizzas. Go to Publix and just pick up a um, container of sour cream. We'll go and see. So let me put all this away. And I'll come back. Walking tacos. That's all they're going to have for two weeks. Walking tacos, hamburgers, hot dogs, spaghetti. Like, it's everything they've been having. What a nightmare. I have to go pick up Brooklyn. I decided not to go do any other running because it's just really, really hot. Like, really. Makes sense. You decided that nothing else, Jensen's bubble cuts were not important enough. I get it. It's hot. You're hot. Go home, Amy. Pop into your avocado and enjoy yourself because those kids, they do not matter. Really hot, so, and I just don't feel like doing any more running, so I can run another day. I have to get that sour cream, but I can do it. It's a lactose sour cream. I was editing it. It's the lactate sour cream, so I can do that. It's lactose, lactate, lactose. She don't know, but it's for Jensen, everybody. Jensen with his bubble guts. Everybody remember, Jensen, my 13-year-old, he has stomach issues when he drinks things that have lactose in them like ice cream and milk he gets poopy okay we get it amy j bus wear a t-shirt that says jensen has bubble guts so you don't have to keep saying it maybe in a week when i make it at the end of the week so i'm just gonna go pick her up and then uh uh, come back home and we'll see what else we're gonna do maybe jensen could get his sour cream if you didn't have to go pick up brooklyn all the time Maybe you should prioritize things in your family. These are going to be dinner this evening, right here. All right, then I come outside. She's not even going to cook all of those. She's going to make the kids just eat a little bit because she never feeds her kids enough. That's why they're always searching around for food, eating snacks and treats. For a few minutes here while it's quiet, the kids are inside watching TV. Still have a couple that are not feeling amazing. So that pool is green. And just like I said, all these dark pieces look dirty. The light pieces are reflecting the dirtiness into the pool. Yuck. So it's just one of those things that just land low and we're just kind of chilling. So today was because you're always sick because you eat rancid coconut oil. Good shopping day. I got the groceries that I need to get for the next couple weeks and got to do the grocery haul with Megan. So go check out her channel as well. And I'm done. We're going to throw the pizzas in the oven in about probably a couple hours tonight and have a late dinner tonight. And that's it. Come out and swim in the pool. It's just so warm. I was, we shut the heater off. It's like definitely a lot warm all over again. <laughs> definitely a lot warm. Well, definitely a lot warm all over again. What's on your shoulder right here, Amy? Are you getting sunburns and are peeling? You know that that leads to cancer. And if not, what happened? Did you and Greg get in a fight? And that is a wound from there? And so we'll enjoy some swimming tonight and then relax and I'll be back tomorrow So you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow with another video. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye Hey guys, have been a great day today. Today is when so that was the shopping and now she's going to Ridiculously clean her cupboards again for like the fifth time So I've done a lot of editing on this one guys. We're gonna cruise through and see what she has going on to you i hope that you're more and then she used two different videos to redo her kitchen 
puke, Amy. We didn't want to watch you put away your junk from North Carolina one time. Now we got to watch you rearrange it again to a different place. Going great. It's a little bit later start this morning. Slap a little bit. A little bit later start this morning. Amy, when do you not have a late start? Get out of here. Stop acting like you're a morning riser because you used to wake up early longer last night which is good definitely we've had i told you we've had sickness in the house and like i'm feeling every time you feed them rancid oil they get sick the tiredness of it definitely the tiredness of it so thankful i don't being pregnant also makes you tired have the other stuff that they have but i'm like okay that's why you didn't have the other stuff that they had like pooping out but what's worse is it worse to feel tired like you don't want to do anything or is it worse to have like the actual sickness like the the whole congestion and the stuffy nose and sore throat hmm <laughs> personally i feel like the tired i'd rather have that versus the tiredness but so she would rather have a sore throat rather than be tired yeah right amy you're tired all the time a sore throat would mean you couldn't talk and you talk for your job you don't know what you'd rather have you're just talking because you need to fill up some time so you can make more money it is what it is. So I guess I'm thankful for what I have. You're not thankful for what you had. You just said you wish you had sore throat rather than tired. But if they have a sore throat, don't you think that they're tired also? Duh. Thankful I can take some stuff to help with it and be and resting and being able to rest, which is a good, good thing. So it's sweet. What did you take to deal with the tiredness, Amy? Went out last night. What did we do yesterday? Last night I finished my video. We ended it, made pizza. Delicious. The kids are like, this is a really good pizza. I'm like, I know. They said it's a really good pizza because you didn't make it. You give them pizza sauce that isn't pizza sauce. It's spaghetti sauce on non bread with crappy old cheese. And you think that they're not going to like it more than a Walmart pizza. Amy, those kids would eat the Walmart pizza off the floor rather than eat a pizza that you create with your own two hands. The... The pizza dough alone that you make is enough to make somebody puke up just seeing how you make your dough. So there's no comparison, Amy. Those kids would like any type of pizza better than your pizza. So it'll be good to get for those. And you didn't mention cooking it in that disgusting pizza oven out there that you don't know how to use even though it costs $2,000. You probably threw them in the cheap Z line. So of course the kids liked them better. They didn't get burnt on the outside and frozen on the inside like they do when you throw them out there on that wood oven. I mean, cheap even, it'd be cheap if you didn't have to buy the um, dairy-free cheese. The two pizzas I bought for dairy-free were... So if it wasn't for Jensen and his stupid bubble guts, it really would have been cheap. But Dern Jensen made it cost more. $14. The other ones were like $4 a piece. So they were really, really uh, real good. So that was a good, good, easy thing to make. Just a fun thing to throw in there. Like, okay, let's have some pizza. So we had that and then Jaden um, picked up slushies. <laughs> she's so sweet on the way home from work for all the kids. So she's excited. Jaden's new job, slushy salesman at the local 7-Eleven. Um, she had a good week. She had a good week starting her new job and just doing amazing. Amazing. So love what God is doing in my kids' lives. It's like things that... Um, so Jaden got a part-time job and she volunteers for free at the church and she's blessed. She got no good education. She was moved away from everything that she's known for the last seven years in North Carolina, including her sister and her two nephews and everybody at the church that she spent time with. But she's blessed because she got to come here and work more and save up money and pay you rent. Yeah, she's really blessed, Amy. She gets to be a nanny and make a little bit of money instead of watching her siblings for free. Jaden's so blessed. She gets to be around people who make a lot more money than she does instead of living in her small hometown where things were reasonably priced. So blessed. She gets to be around people who shop at the gigantic Bradenton Mall. And she wears the clothes like she's little orphan Annie. So blessed, Amy. Yes, Jaden is so blessed. I like seeing God work in my own life. Love seeing God work in my own life when he does things and he does it all the time. And then your kids, you know, you, you raise them and you like pray for them and you, you know, try to teach them like to follow the Lord and follow what he has. And, you know, as all, as us too, we have all those things where we're like, yeah, but this, I want to do this. I want to do this. And trying to get them out of the mindset of like me, me, me. And do you know how parents raise their children to be believers?
in what they believe in, no matter what it is, Amy, you could be talking about Saint, Saint, Satanism, you could be talking about the Bible, you could be talking about guns, no matter what it is. Parents who teach their children to believe like they do, they lead by example. Your children are not going to thank God first when you do not put God first. You put YouTube first to make this money. You put YouTube before God when you wear a short dress to get views. You put YouTube first when you put your children on there and exploit them at young ages just to get views. You need to lead by example of God first before any of your children ever live by God first. Of course your children don't want to do it. Jaden is only doing it right now because she hopes to please you because she's always wanted to please you. Go back and watch when she was a little kid. All she ever tried to do was get on this darn channel to get your attention. All you would do is pay attention to Lauren because Lauren could help you on the channel. You never paid attention to, to Jaden. And now that Jaden is the oldest in the house, you want to pay a little attention and say she's blessed. She's not blessed. She's, it's poor Jaden because she has a mother like you. That's what it is. Poor Jaden. Because you didn't educate her the way she needed to be educated. Focus on like, what is God having you do and being in the right place. And while we're talking about your children and just up and leaving them, what about Lauren? When Lauren was 16 years old, you took her from everything she knew in Michigan. And you moved her to North Carolina and she had to start all over. She lived there for seven years and she started a new life. And what did you do? You up and left her and her children and her new husband. You left your two grandchildren without a second thought. You don't think about your grandchildren here. You don't have pictures of them anywhere because you don't have to put them down. We get it. Lauren doesn't want you to put pictures of them on the internet, but that doesn't mean you could say that you were thinking about them or that you sent them a present. You don't mention them because you don't think about them, Amy. Who moves away from their new grandchildren? You have other grandchildren in Michigan also. How many times have you been to Michigan to visit those grandchildren, Amy? You're a liar. You do what Amy wants when Amy wants it. You never cared about Lauren. That's why you ripped her from Michigan. And you don't care about Jaden. That's why you ripped her from North Carolina. And when you're ready to move from, it, from Florida, you will leave how many kids in Florida? Jaden, Brooklyn, and Autumn? And just take the younger ones with you? You're a sicko, Amy. No matter what that looks like to other people, I said, no matter what you do, I said, you're always going to get hate from people. You're never going to make anybody happy. I said, the only one That's not true. There are plenty of people that make people very, very, very happy. Yes, some people won't like you, but don't tell somebody that you'll never make anybody happy. That's ridiculous. How will she have a husband? How will she have friends? How will she have a partner? Don't be ignorant, Amy. Don't teach your kids even more repulsive things than you've already taught them. No wonder Jaden is confused about love because she hasn't gotten any. Please is God. And God is the one who will direct you with what to do and how to do it. And what happens, Amy, if God doesn't talk to people like he talks to you? What happens when they don't hear God like you hear God? So it's so good to see, like, it's been some time for, um, you know, as we go through things and learning things and trying to find where are we supposed to be. And then, like, we were just sitting there talking, Jay and I were talking, I said, look at where you are right now versus where you were a year ago. And, like, all the struggles you have. Jaden, you could have been where you are a year ago, the same place you are today. You work for free from a church, you nanny, and you have a part-time job. You could have done all of this from North Carolina. Your mother is putting on a front so that you don't hate your life and blame her. She's going to leave you just like she left Lauren. Just like she drug Lauren away from Michigan and Lauren did not want to leave Michigan. She was very sad about it. She's going to do the same thing to you. Be on the lookout and take care of yourself because mama's not looking out for you. At all. Because we all do. We all have struggles. I have struggles. Every, you have struggles. We all know you have struggles, Amy. You post them on the internet for everybody to see and then you lie about them and say that those aren't your struggles. Your struggle is your husband hates to work. Your struggle is you hate to work. Easy. Lots of people have that struggle, but you can't be real about it and say it. Instead, you'd rather lie. So your other struggle is you're a liar.
thinking about and worrying about. And I said, well, look at like what God did, like far beyond what you can imagine, like crazy. Would have never thought. I bet that's what she told Lauren. Look what God did. He took you away from everybody you knew in Michigan, and then he got you over into North Carolina, and he left you all alone by yourself with two kids. What you're doing right now, what you'd be doing, so such a good thing. Such I don't think God is in the business of ruining young girls' lives, Amy. I think a good thing. I think that's you and your job. So excited for her. She was celebrating with slushies, and I, I made pizza. So I'm like, let's have that. So it was a good night. What a good celebration. Pizzas and slushies. And the pizzas were $4 Walmart pizzas. Yay, Jaden. And then we ended it with a swim. We went outside and swam for a little bit. It was nice. And that was a great way to end our night. We were out there for a little while and then uh, came in and went to bed, went to sleep and slept pretty good for a nice long night. I shut my alarm off this morning. They were outside all loud and yelling and splashing all night. Man, their neighbors must love them. Between Maxine barking and their kids yelling, at all times of the day and night, I bet their neighbors are stoked. I think it went off at like 6.30 and I was like, mm, I think I'm gonna wait for a little bit so I didn't get up until seven. So that was a good thing. So I'm like, I went upstairs, I made a list yesterday of the food I need. Top of her list, do the minimum. I need to do because I went grocery shopping, I need to prep some of this. She went grocery shopping yesterday, so that was the minimum. Food and so just so I wouldn't have to think about it this morning. It's sometimes a good thing to do, I either do in the morning, or at nighttime, either way. But it was helpful, I did it yesterday. So I've got to get all that food I bought. Not all of it, but do something with it. So all the meat I put in the refrigerator, the, tur the tur turkey, we don't eat turkey. We do eat turkey, we don't love turkey. You don't eat turkey, that's so weird. Why don't you guys eat turkey? Because you dry it out too bad and they think turkey is dry. It's called Amy doesn't know how to cook and her kids don't know what tastes good. It's a chicken I put in the refrigerator. And then I have some fruits and veggies and stuff I want to eat, um, you know, cut up and you know, wash up so we can eat those today as well and then make dinner. Uh, yeah, because she wants them to have fresh fruits and veggies for two days out of the month. Duh. Of course, have dinner. We have, there is still a little bit of tater tot casserole in there. So I'm going to say this is what we have to eat today for lunch. If we do not eat it up for lunch, we're going to, I don't know, have it forever. They are going to have it forever. So we need to eat some tater tot casserole so that big giant pan can get out of the refrigerator and then... Um, and they had pizza last night. Who wants to have tater tot casserole? Nasty, disgusting, with the mushroom, dirt, potatoes, no. Okay, tacos, because that's easy dinner for dinner tonight. So it's gonna be a good day. You guys ready for a good day? And I go to school. And I was thinking about doing some cleaning, but I'm gonna skip that and focus. She's gonna read to Maxine for school. Focus on that a different day. I'm like, you know what, remember? Focus on what, what's the minimum you gotta do? What's, I wanna do more than that. That's Amy's new model, motto. What's the minimum? What's the minimum you could do? It, whatever that minimum is, I'm gonna try to do less than that. Minimum today, but what, are, what, is it, what do I have to do? I have to do the food, I gotta do school, and we're gonna have to make dinner. If there's time later in the day to clean something, awesome. But if not, no worries whatsoever. No worries, because it's the minimum. So, first things first, you guys ready? All right, I got my coffee, drinking it right now, and I'm gonna start my- What's with the black coffee? We see you buying coffee creamer. What the heck? Chicken. Put my chicken in my slow cooker. And you can put your chicken in your pressure cooker or in a slow cooker. It just connect nice and tender. It falls apart. It's going to take some time because it's 8 o'clock and I'm just starting, but that's okay. Maybe this afternoon I'll finish it. I wanted to do my cream of mushroom and cream of chicken soup, but I'm going to need the chicken for that. So we'll see how, how much I get done. For now, I'm going to take this. Yay, she's going to make more of that cream of nasty chicken and mushroom dirt soup. I love it when she makes that because then she has it on hand just to give it to her kids any time of the day. Put it in here and turn it on. I'll put a little bit of chicken bouillon in there. I've got some veggies. I Make sure you put a lot of chicken bouillon. Don't measure it. Just pour it in. Should probably just some spices. I'll save the veggies for chopping up in other stuff, I think. Yeah, just put some spices in there just to make it. Yeah, just spices. You don't need any veggies. Jeez, your kids, they don't, they don't live off veggies. Some flavor. It'll be delicious. So you guys ready? All right, let's go. Chicken is cooking, the sunshine is coming in the window here. What I'm gonna do is get my meat separated. I was going to have a couple meals. Yum, this is her favorite part is separating meat. So I'm gonna make over the next few weeks. This is why Amy doesn't buy a lot of meat because Amy doesn't like to touch meat. Weeks and like lasagna and meatloaf. And I was thinking, I'm like, hmm, do I do meal prep with them today or not? I'm just thinking about it. So I'm thinking. I She's not going to cook that meat. She's barely going to separate it. You think she's going to cook it all and then separate it? Yeah, I'm right. not going to. I was going to cook it, but I thought, you know what? I don't want to do all that today. So I'll just separate it into bags. I'll put enough in each bag so that I, when I go to make it, I can take it out. So like the meatloaf, definitely going to need to thaw it before you. That way she can complain later and say, I wish I would have cooked this. 
make it, so I have to make sure I get it out of the freezer. I could make the meatball, meatloaf things up now, but I think that can just be another video. So let me just separate it into bags. That would be doing way too much today, y'all. I found the easiest way to do this was just to cut it and squeeze it into the bags. That's what She does the meat condom way. She puts a bag on the end and squeezes it in. That way she doesn't have to touch it. She may lose some meat, but it's okay. Her kids are used to getting Amy's fingers in everything. This is probably the first thing she doesn't touch with her hands, which is impressive. Well, big bags just for when I have, like, for the lasagna. It's crazy because her family's main source of protein is the greasiest, lowest quality beef from Walmart that you can get. And then she wonders why the kids have trouble learning to read. I'm going to need more, and the meatloaf, I'm going to need more. With the other ones, I can put into the quart bags. That fits perfect. So what I did. So that was a big old pile of meat that most likely she's not going to use all of because the last time she did that, she only used meat three times from that. Is I got up some cheese and refried beans here. Those will follow. We'll make those for dinner. So those are not refried beans. We've already discussed this. Those are called blended beans, pinto beans. Refried beans are refried. Okay, look up the definition of refried beans. Those are called bean smoothies. They are not refried beans. Stop being offensive. Refried beans are an actual dish. And don't call them refried beans unless you're going to refry them. And we don't care if your kids like plain beans with no salt in them, cooked for days, nasty plain beans. That's repulsive. You don't put fat in them. You don't put meat in them. You don't put salt even in them. Amy, those beans are a blended abomination. And it sickens me. I wouldn't. It's sad, too, because your kids, you say, like them. That's because they've never actually got to taste real refried beans. The meat part is done. So what I'm going to do is some veggies and fruit. Maybe mostly fruit. We'll see. So I got this cake stand. <laughs> I wanted to show it because I love when I find something. I'm like, okay, this looks really good. Like, I have a glass cake stand. You know, the lid guy. She loves when she finds something she could sell to you guys so she could get commissions. She just loves it. On top of the refrigerator, and it got dropped off, and... Busted. That's okay. So I bought a big giant one and that works. It's just, it doesn't fit perfect. Of course something fell and busted in your house because your house is a rat trap. I saw this and I'm like, this is a great thing. It wasn't very much at all. I'm like, this is a good thing for all of our food because here I have to keep everything covered. Like everything has to be covered all the time because the humidity is here. Um, you know, just the way it is. It's just, I don't keep anything. So because of the humidity, you have to have it covered? Lizards, you know, there's things crawling. Who knows when? I think someone's in one of my videos <laughs> last week. It was this video. Someone said, there's a mouse in your kitchen. I'm like, what? And so I tried searching a video for a mouse. I'm like, do I have a mouse in my kitchen? And um, I said, well, maybe it's a lizard. Yeah, we have lizards. I think the first few times I've seen one in the house. Of course, you have lizards, you have mice, you have ants, you have cockroaches because you don't clean your house. And that's where those come from. They eat the grease off the surfaces. It doesn't matter. You have a dirty house, you're going to have critters. It is what it is. We don't need to hear your spill. You have to lock things up because your house is nasty and you always have bugs. Bugs are everywhere, all over the United States. We all get bugs if we're nasty. Amy is nasty, so Amy has bugs. But they're, they're so fast it would be impossible to keep them out of your house. Like, impossible. Like, we don't have, you know, up, actually in the mountains we didn't have. It would be impossible to keep them out of your big, greasy trash can of a house. Of, of course it would. Two doors either. No, I guess we didn't. I was thinking, we, but like, you know, up in the door, we'd have like a storm door kind of slam first. But these, it's just wide open doors. So the doors are just wide open sometimes. If kids are running out or I'm running out. I know the other day, Brooklyn ran out literally for like a second and like a lizard had come in and I was like it's from the garage which is crazy and I'm like and we never our pressure isn't usually open that long at all and so I had to laugh so they spent, the girls were back there the one day and they were um <laughs> I was upstairs working because it went underneath the washer and I'm like we're never gonna get that thing out of here and they're like I'm not going to bed I'm like you guys are upstairs I'm like my room is right by the lizard <laughs> so they took Maxine over there. They're like, come on, Maxine. Poor Maxine's like, what are you even talking about? Like, what do you want? And they ended up, they got it out. And they did get it out. And now Maxine got it. So, so they just come in so fast. So I was thinking, well, maybe there's a lizard. Like, I mean, I have one. I had one run across my kitchen. 
She has to talk for five minutes about all the creatures in her house because her house is full of creatures. She has to make you aware that when you see a mouse behind her or you see a lizard or you see ants, it's not her fault, guys. It's because of the house. No, it is your fault, Amy. You're a nasty pig and your house is nasty. That's why you have critters. Any mouse poop. Usually, if you have a mouse, you can tell there's mouse poop. Or you know, you, I, we've had those. We lived in Michigan. We had field mice all the time, so I know what those are like. And obviously, if you have them, you can see the poop. But I didn't see anything, so I'm like, is there a lizard running across my floor? So yeah, no. So yeah, it could happen. You could see one run, but I think it was a piece of food. I, I believe it was a cucumber. Yeah. I have Listen to this. What she believes it was a piece of cucumber a top of a cucumber I know it was on the floor and I walked by it for days and I'm like hmm, ever see those mom experiments where they leave something on the floor and I think they put money that's what this is now you've been saying you're too lazy and too tired to clean your house for two weeks now and you want to try to say that this was a mom experiment you wanted to see if your kids would pick a cucumber cap up off the floor so you left it for a couple days you're a liar we all saw it go back to my video everybody could see it right now it was a Maxine poop because you and Maxine are dirty little wenches you guys are not trained in housekeeping Maxine is not trained in house nothing maxine is not trained at all she just barks and barks and barks and poops wherever she wants maxine is a horrible dog and you are a horrible dog mom teach your dog something so she doesn't poop all over the kitchen floor it's really nasty it was not a cucumber cap if you left a cucumber cap on the floor until it turned black amy where it molded you're grosser than just admitting that your dog had an accident on the kitchen floor what the heck is wrong with you it's another thing you lied about and once you lie what happens amy it always comes back to bite you didn't pick it up <laughs> it was a poopy and you didn't pick it up. You just left it on the floor behind you. A dog poopy. I pointed it out three times. Anybody that is my follower, your follower, uh, a random stranger on the internet, go look at my last video, or the video before last. It's a dog poopy. I didn't care. It was like, whatever. We know you don't care. It's like, whatever. That's why your house has so many critters. Because you don't care. It's whatever. Just like the kids is schooling. You don't care. It's whatever. So anyways, so so around here I keep things covered all the time because you just never know. So I usually I'll do plastic wrap. Or you don't even wash your hands, Amy. There is no hand soap on this sink. So when she w goes over here to, to get ready to cook, there's no hand soap. When she goes in her bathroom, look around. There's no hand soap. When she goes into the extra bathroom, look around. There's no hand soap. When she goes into the boys' bathroom, look around. There's no hand soap. These guys live a, how, live a life with no hand soap. They're not washing their hands. And then she wonders why they're always sick. Because her poo-poo hands and their poo-poo hands touches everything. And nothing gets washed with soap that lid so this I thought was good because it's a it could be a it's a cake stand multi-function I like that look at you could do like a little veggie tray it's like you multi-function huh you're like a homemaker extraordinaire or you can do punch that hasn't been punched in a long time or like a little tray with it you haven't made punch for a long time but it's okay because your kids drink full sugar sh uh, slushies all the time or like a salad with all the ingredients in the bottom or a dessert I thought that was kind of cool. So just different ways to be able to do that. So then you just leave it out versus like having to keep it out. So good little thing. I thought that was. And you leave it out in your hot kitchen so that everything on it can get rotten and old and your kids could get sick. Yeah. It's a very cool. Sometimes I find those neat things. And I'm like, that works. Like I have the glass dishes and those are nice. You just have to put them out and put them away. What's the difference between the glass dish being out? And this being out, you could cover the glass dish with a piece of plastic. You cover this with this. They're both going to sit out and get hot and ugly and muggy and moldy. I got busted, so what are you going to do? So I'm going to get my fruit. You could put it away so that it won't get busted. I'm going to wash it out and then um, put some out so we can have some today. I don't think I'm going to do any. I'm going to do breakfast, but I think the kids are going to be happy with cereal. I said the cereal got tore into last night, so I'll probably have cereal. So the milk's probably already gone if it got tore into last night. Or they will make um, 
I also have eggs. We haven't had eggs for a couple of days since I had to go shopping, so I'll probably do that. So I'm not gonna worry about making breakfast, but the fruit, they definitely will eat the fruit up. So let me get some out and wash it, and we'll put it in here. So I'm gonna cut this up. She did not wash this. She doesn't wash anything that touches her food. She never washed the grill when they got that cooking grill. She never washes anything. New plates, new pans, new pots, nothing. Younger mamas, or maybe older ones too. When she got that new blender, she didn't wash that out. So when you get fruit, know which fruit is going to go bad. This is her tip, mamas. Know what fruit is going to go bad because... That's not obvious, Amy. People don't buy produce like you do just to let it go bad. First in your home, like berries are gonna go bad first. That's just like gonna happen. So put those out to get eaten up right away. And then like grapes will last a little bit longer in your refrigerator and then go on to like your melons. If you have, I'm talking if you had like watermelon, cantaloupe, pineapple, those generally last for a long time. I think like I remember my girlfriend coming and Amy's fruits and vegetables are always, always, always rotten and moldy. There is no way I will follow her advice on how long to keep produce. They put um, the watermelon, they just left it out. I'm like, you leave it on the counter? And the husband's like, well, yeah, they leave it in the grocery store out. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. So I did. Where did you put them before that, Amy? In your refrigerator? Because you have such big, like, maybe they weren't used to having three refrigerators at home like you do. Just, um... If you have three refrigerators, you could put it in the refrigerator. Some people enjoy cold fruit. I do. Put my counter here, and the other one is in the over at the butler's pantry on the shelf. So those will last for a little while. Yes, you can cut them up and use them because they're delicious, but I'm going to focus on this stuff first. I have another container. I'm she wants to eat her fruit how she wants to eat it, not how the kids want to eat it. More strawberries and more blackberries. The raspberries we ate one yesterday, so this will focus on eating. Wouldn't you think more about what was healthy for the children? You don't want them to eat too much sugar. So you don't want them to eat too many berries and, and um, grapes are only sugar. Maybe you want to give them a different fruit or veg, but not Amy. Amy wants to make sure that she gets to feed them the fruit the way she wants to. Today, same thing. And then um, as we, the day, next couple days, because I've got kids here in and out. That's how it works. And then like bananas, that's another fruit. Those will last for a long time too. So use up the ones that are going to go bad first and then save the other ones so that you can stretch out your food. That's a good way to eat. You could just go buy fresh produce once a week, Amy. It would be really easy. You could like buy all your meat for the whole month, then set aside an amount for each week's fresh produce. You literally live right next to Publix, to all those stores, Detweilers, you can go and get your veg once a week. You don't do much else. And what the heck is up with this angle? Like, why? Why is it up so high? Is it so that we can't see your stomach? Is it so we can see your big gigantic forehead and the fruit at the same time? We could just see the fruit if you're cutting it. We all know what cutting fruit looks like. We don't need to see your face all the time. Like, can you get your angles under control? Because this is not a good angle. Nobody wants to watch this. It's, they had, um, I don't know, we pulled out little flavored soda waters. And they're like, how come you didn't tell us we had those? I said, because I saved those for the end of the month. So Because she's greedy and she wanted to make sure she still had something at the end of the month, you dumb children. Dum-dums. That when that time comes, everyone's not like... Those kids could have been fiending for something to drink. And Amy wouldn't have let them have them until she was ready. Greg either. Everybody is under Amy's control. We have heard Greg say it before. I just come and go when Miss Amy tells me to. Amy has to be in control or she freaks out. It's just casseroles. And then it's like, yeah, there is something delicious to eat. So if you can kind of... Think about things that you have. Use up those now, like fruit. This will be good to have a lot of cereal because you can put fresh fruit on cereal. She always says that as her tip. Think about what you have and use it up. Amy, what else would they do? They can't think about what their neighbors have and go and get that. They have to think about what they have. Look in their refrigerator and see what they have. And then if they don't have anything, go to the store. That's not a tip. That's actually what people do when they need food just have it plain or with waffles or something too but then like the end of the month use my frozen fruit and make like smoothies and stuff so just a good way to use up things and then not have anything go to waste fruit will never really go to, never go to waste 
She always lets stuff go to waste, including fruit. How many times have we seen her fruit go to be, go straight to the king on her counter? She had a cantaloupe the other day that looked like a dinosaur egg. Don't tell me she doesn't let fruit and produce go to waste. Amy is the most wasteful person on YouTube. Not literally, but probably close. It's her home. The other thing, sometimes it's like oops, uh, grapes will go bad if they're uh, yucky. They're not as good. These are really good ones, so they should never go bad. If you buy them y yucky, yes, Amy, they will go bad yucky fast. You buy bad fruit and veg because you don't pay attention because you're vlogging and doing other things. But for the most part, these berries, I know all these will get eaten up. I'm going to put this out and everyone's going to come out and keep grabbing and eating them. If they eat this within a day or two, it's probably much too much for them. You probably should have waited and released them out over the next couple days if they're just going to eat them up real quick in one day. Really, really good. So I'm just going to continue cutting these out, putting them on here. And then I was in my fridge and I forgot the other fruit would be like nectarines, peaches, and apples. Those will last you. The, those nectarines and peaches. The apples will last her for like three months because her kids don't eat apples. So they'll probably go bad first, obviously, like around the watermelon time. So berries first, the grapes. Use those up and then go for like your next. Amy, the produce expert. Yeah, right, Amy. Knock it off. Nectarines, your plums, your uh, kiwis. And then you can do like banana. She doesn't even know what half the fruits at Detweiler's are. And watermelon and then apples. Apples will last for months in the refrigerator. Yeah, they will. Then what kind you get? You don't believe her? Look it up. They last six weeks. She knows because she used to buy apples. Then tampered with it. I know I would get cases and just let them sit in the refrigerator for a good six weeks is what they last. Because she has four refrigerators. Who has enough room in their refrigerator to keep apples for six weeks? Amy Marion. Or so. Uh, because she doesn't have any protein in those said for refrigerators. All right, cheese. That's the other thing. I'm going to put these in individual bags because it's nicer to be able to pull them out of the freezer versus a whole big chunk. I put the whole chunk. You put too much in a bag anyway. This is a five pound bag and you're going to put a pound in each bag. You need a pound of cheese. In my freezer, that works too. But sometimes like some of it is so solid, it's hard to break it apart. So I'm going to just put it in, in uh, quart bags so I can freeze it cheese so the bigger cheese fits more. imagine eating a quart of cheese every time you cook something more into four bags and the orange cheese fits into five bags interesting just the way it's it's shredded so i'm gonna put these in my freezer imagine things with different amounts of air in it and cut different sizes fitting different things sir this works really good I, i'm gonna leave one out in my refrigerator for taco she never had like a shape sorter when she was a baby okay i've got about an hour before i gotta start um school and stuff this morning so i'm thinking what do i should i do i need to wipe out the refrigerator scott she's got an hour before she has to read to maxine stained i think it's the raspberries See? she's gonna read maxine uh do not poo poo on the kitchen floor book today through the package in there take out a few things in there so that um because i just put everything in there real quick yesterday arrange it a little bit nicer and then um i might start so you already did it once but now you're gonna do it again just like the kitchen cupboards man we're so lucky you get so much footage, huh? My cream of mushroom soup. I might. I was looking. Definitely make the dirt soup. In it, I have to do cream of chicken and the cream of mushroom. So I'm like, do I just do them together a different day? Like not today? I don't know. We'll see what we do. But then I'm like, it doesn't matter. Nobody likes them anyway. Like, okay, I'm home today. They're going to be totally nasty no matter when you make them. Brooklyn doesn't have to work. With, I don't mind taking her to work every day. But... Usually you have to stop what you're doing and go. You do mind taking her to work every day or you wouldn't talk about it every time and complain. Just because you're not saying, Ugh, I don't want to do this, doesn't mean it's not complaining. Having to say you have to do something is complaining, Amy. Letting everybody know that you're going to do a menial task like run your daughter somewhere is complaining. Go out and pick up. So I'm thinking, I'm like, I should do some kind of cleaning today as well. So I'm going to do some thinking as I'm wiping this out. I might have to do my kitchen. So I might start in here. We'll see. We'll see. It's either here or like, it's going to be a big, kitchen's going to be a lot because I have to kind of, I want to organize things a little bit after I'm being moved in here and kind of, you know, things just get put, whatever. I need to find those things that are put for wherever. And then, um, so we'll see. We might. I'm going to do some, wait, I just got to wipe the fridge out right now and then we'll decide what else we're going to do. Okay, the refrigerator I cleaned out just kind of moved it where I need everything. So I have space. There's a big pizza pan in there. That will probably be lunch then, thinking everybody that will want pizza. That, um, and then a pizza.
Pizza for dinner, pizza for lunch, pizza, pizza, pizza. Just got tater tot casserole. I'm going to separate into smaller dishes because this big pan is... The infamous tater tot casserole that nobody wants to eat. Pretty big and I've got a whole bunch of... Now she's going to break it down into different dishes so she could trick them and, you know, you make it look a little bit different and maybe they'll eat it. She's in here too, so I'm just going to separate it and then put it back in the fridge. It'll give you up for somebody's lunch. Okay, a little change of plans and that's okay. I was going to start making the soup and I'm like, let me just wait. So um, I'm going to get Greg. It's 10 a.m. and she is not going to make no soup at 10 a.m. Her day's almost over. She needs to be done by noon. Lunch together because he has work today. Greg has work today. It's already 10 a.m. and he's going to go to work later. She makes it seem like he's an engineer and he works at a 3D mold injection place, but he works night shift. Yeah, right, Amy. Hey, I know. Everybody asks, when is he working? Is he working? <laughs> he moved down to Florida to work the night shift at an injection mold place. Yeah, right. It's one of those things. And you said that you guys got insurance through his job, but you still have the Christian insurance. You're lying. He's not working. You're making him a lunch because I pointed out that he's not working. And everybody in your comments was asking, where, why isn't Greg working? Amy's making a fake lunchy. So much because like, yeah, I'm in a new home. Yeah, I'm by myself. So, but we have other means of protection. You know, there's plenty of things that we have. They go out a gun. No, Amy, nobody cares about your gun and you are lying about needing protection. You and Greg leave the children home alone and drive to other cities to pick up air conditioning parts. You leave them home alone while you go to Starbucks, while you go do whatever you want to do, and nobody's there with them to protect them. And it doesn't matter. You could tell your followers that you're out and about and it's not a big deal, right? But the moment that it has something to do with Greg and your lie about him working, now all of a sudden you have to protect your family. You're a liar. You don't want anyone to know when Greg is working, right? But you record a week behind. Amy, you're lying. You are lying. Admit that Greg is not working. And stop being a liar. Your life will get better when you stop lying. Greg is an unemployed loser you pretending he has a job is only going to make things worse, okay? Being a lying, rambling idiot is way worse than just being a rambling idiot. Went to the mountains? Definitely not, because that was the middle of nowhere. And um, a lot of crazy people out there. A lot of crazy people, which is crazy, and I shouldn't say crazy. There is a lot of crazy people out there, Amy, and you are one of them. That's how you know. It takes one to know one, right? Crazy. A lot of people that are managing demons in their head terribly. How's that sound? She said crazy is bad. Instead, they have demons in their head and they're managing them poorly. It sounds like you're in a church cult is what it sounds like to say that anybody has a demon in their head Amy you know who talks about demons in your head cults I don't know because it's not follow me here neighbors if she thinks that people that are against her are crazy and have demons in their head what happens when she starts thinking that one of her children who go against her has demons in their head what if she thinks she has to hurt that child that goes against her what if she kicks Gregory out when he doesn't follow her rules because she says he has demons in his head what if Amy is the reason that Gregory left and she made him leave because everybody thinks Greg is the person in charge but the true story is Amy is the person in charge Amy is the reason that they are highly Christian Everybody thinks, oh, the man, because they're traditional Christians and the man is in charge. Gregory was not a Christian. Amy made Greg be a Christian. And she said when he wasn't a Christian, he made her want to puke. So what I think is happening is right now and back when he left the last time, whenever Greg doesn't want to be a Christian, he makes Amy want to puke and he's got to get away from her. So maybe... Just maybe their life is horrible solely because of Amy. Maybe Amy 
pushed this house and picking this house off onto Greg so she could hold him liable when her channel said that moving to Florida was a dumb idea. Maybe Amy moved down here so she could expand her unschooling so that for the next couple of years while she waits to get rid of this round of kids, she can do whatever the heck she wants. Maybe we should stop blaming old Gregory and ask Amy why she led her family down the road that she's led them down. The people, it's just that they're listening and just different spirits and it's making uh, just... How, does, how are you so sure, Amy, that the spirits you're listening to, you said with your own mouth that you heard God speak to you. How are you so sure it was God? How do you know it wasn't Satan? You know that demons speak also, right? How are we supposed to know that we can trust the voices that you hear and think that the other people are the bad people, Amy? You hear voices. That's not normal. We don't know if those voices you hear are actually God. Now, do we? Your children may be in danger if you're hearing voices and that voice tells you that your child is a demon. Crazy, crazy, crazy days, Amy. You are right. There are some crazy people out there. So I'm making his lunch because he's heading out here in a little bit. He's not heading out. He's in the backyard with his rash guard on ready to eat his bologna sandwich. And so he make what your husband likes. Don't worry about a full course healthy meal. Don't worry about a full course healthy meal. Make what your husband likes. Here she goes preaching another piece of bad advice to you young mothers and mothers and wives and anybody. Don't make something for somebody that they love simply because they love it. If you feed your children bad food simply because they love it every single day, they are going to get fat and unhealthy. Same thing with your husband. Same thing with your animal. It is abuse. Just because somebody likes something doesn't mean you need to give it to them all the time. Okay? That is called an addiction. And that is not where you want your husband or your child to be when it comes to fast food, processed food, sugary food, sodas, anything, monsters, energy drinks. You are being ignorant and you are trying to tell your followers to be ignorant also. That's what you like. You make what your husband like. You're not his mommy. You you're not his mommy. You're his wife and you're supposed to be by his side until you guys both die together, right? You want to live a long life or do you want to get rid of your husband? Because to me, it sounds like you want to get rid of your husband and kill him off. Your choices and you can also feed other times <clears throat> healthier choices. I think of myself. and I When do you feed him healthy choices? Greg looks the way he looks because you feed him the way you feed him. I don't see Gregory in the kitchen cooking. I see Amy in the kitchen cooking. I don't see Jensen in the kitchen cooking. I see Amy in the kitchen cooking. So Amy causes Jensen's bubble guts and Amy causes Greg's big fat bell bell. It's all on you. Think, okay, I'll go get Starbucks and get a big giant coffee and not. We know you do all the time. How much money have you spent on Starbucks since you've been in Florida? Let me know in the comments, Amy, because I'm going to add it up. And that won't even be all of them because we know you don't share all of the Starbucks with us. Let me know in the comments, everybody, what you think the amount is that Amy has spent on Starbucks. Because I'm about to figure it out. All of the Starbucks that, sh that we have seen her drink since she's been in Florida, we're going to figure out how much it was worth. Isn't that terrible? Oh, yeah, terrible. It's just a snack during the day to keep going. <laughs> so, I know. All those good things. So, I'm going to make this real quick, put it in a bag for him so he can take it. So, that's all I'm going to focus on right now. So, go spend so, Greg, there's your little man bag. Take it to work with you out in the backyard. Work hard. Some time. Get, kids are moving, and then um, we're going to do... Oh, it's after 10 o'clock. The kids are finally starting to breathe. A bit of school, or all our school, actually. And then I'll come back and do some more this afternoon. Not sure what yet. I'll see how the day goes. All right. She never tells anybody. If anybody's curious, those flowers, those are from a church thing that Jaden went to. Of course, she didn't go to the church thing. She doesn't go to any church thing. So we took a break and went out and swam for a little bit. So feeling sun-kissed and refreshed. Can you believe that the kids went to a mother-daughter, like, woman lunch thing and Amy didn't go to said woman lunch thing? She stayed at home in the house and her kids went alone without her. All the other kids had their mothers, but not those kids. School for a few hours. I just discovered something though. I was, um, I went and opened, you know, the container I thought was refried beans. Not refried beans, that was cream of mushroom soup. So I still have four containers of cream of mushroom soup in my. Yum. 
How can you confuse cream of mushroom soup with beans, Amy? Because you make blended pinto beans, not refried beans. Yuck. Freezer. <laughs> you should have just threw all the things that look like cream of mushroom soup and pinto beans, just throw them away. So I was like, huh, so that made me, okay, we won't have any tonight with our walking tacos, but I did pull out the pinto beans, and I'm going to put those in the slow cooker, or actually, let me get my other slow cooker, I'll put them in. Yes, yeah, she's going to make new plain pinto beans. And there's so those can cook today, because that is something we'll use if it's done today, that's great, and if not, no big deal. So I had to laugh, the kids were watching a TV show, there's like a, I don't know if it's a YouTube video, whatever it is, it's got a hamster video, Maxine like never cares about TV. Remember when the kids had hamsters? Jensen had a hamster once. Amy let it go on the mountain because she doesn't like animals. Amy said that they couldn't bring their animals here. She said that the guinea pigs couldn't come here. Yeah, that's a lie, Amy. I know that your house will allow you to have guinea pigs. I know that they'll allow you to have three animals. So you also could have brought Ruby. At all. She's literally staring on the food bottom and staring up at the TV like going like this <laughs> watch the hamster so funny <laughs> crazy little dogs okay i'm gonna go get my pot out fill it with water crazy little dogs you love her so much but the moment that you don't want her you'll get rid of her just like ruby put some pinto beans in it and cook those because i don't have any refried beans okay should i have the lights they're not refried beans refried beans are exactly what they're called refried it's conserve energy so what i'm gonna do is there it is the infamous rancid coconut oil the kids will be sick again. Let's make some popcorn. Kids are like, let's have popcorn to munch in. So I'm going to get some right here and mix it up, make it. They can put in bowls and put whatever toppings they want on it. And then I'm going to think I need to do something. She's going to give the kids this rancid oil again and make them sick. Amy is literally the lady from the olden times that would have lost all of her children to like the coyotes. Reorganize it. So we're going to work on that in a minute. Let me mix some of this up. But it's three different bowls. One is just plain with the salt and butter. Make sure you put a lot of that rancid oil in it. I did one with the peppery. It's like a hot pepper one. And it was like a cheesy one, white cheddar. So those three here, there's still more. This is the thing with Amy. Whenever they have something that they like, like popcorn, now they have to have popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. Three things of popcorn. You couldn't just made one thing of popcorn. She had to make three different things of popcorn. She does overboard with everything. Clean up and then I'll mix up the remainder easy snack for the afternoon and for tonight. Popcorn is done. Now I'm on to my thinking project for the day. So this is her thinking project for the day. Standing in her hallway. Oh, thinking. So hard to think for you, isn't it, Amy? Now, after living here for a few months, I'm trying to utilize and see what would work for me. So this little closet area, I've always thought I would love to. It's kind of pointless. It's like a built-in cabinet with not much room for anything else. I think it was an office for them. So hold on a second. This lady just said that this Harry Potter closet that you can't even stand up in right here was a office for the people that used to live here. This is two foot right here. A chair wouldn't even fit in here, Amy. What kind of office? What kind of office would this be, Amy? Please elaborate for me because who in their right mind would think that somebody could use this for an office the man that used to own this house was that tall cuban man he can't even bend over you'd have to bend over in here when he stood up amy it's like the cheetah in the tree right it could happen it's florida this into my food pantry this actually fits perfect in that spot greg's like honey it's probably just a few bolts unscrew it and put it in so watch it probably doesn't even fit it's going to be too long or too short we're not doing that today <laughs> but Preparation is a good thing. What's inside of here is like she's gonna prep it so she can make Greg do it. Like she can complain and complain until he does it as long as she has it ready. All my glass dishes, all my storage, because I don't I have them in my kitchen, but I don't use them that much. And so someone said, put them in your butler's pantry. That's what a butler's pantry is for. Thank yeah, we did. We said that's what a butler's pantry is for, Amy. Why didn't you Google what a but butler's pantry was when you moved into the house? That you don't really use. You would think that when you buy a six hundred fifty thousand dollar house, you'd know what a butler's pantry is. So for our butler's pantry, we moved in here. I had a lot of food stored up in the mountains. You're prepared. I mean, you should be prepared in Florida. But I'm no, it's because in the mountains, you went to the discount store all the time and food was like 300% cheaper. Not sell stuff everywhere. Um, so when you go get your food at dusty old discount stores and it's all expired, of course it's cheaper, Amy. 
Oh, <laughs> my cabinets were full. So there's a grape jelly right there. Is that not the new, is that the new one or is that the old one? She has all these strawberry jellies. She didn't need jelly. She could have just finished this up before she bought more. Well, my cabinets aren't so full now because like, I just, I'm not discount store shopping. I'm not really. When you buy a bunch of junk, it goes really fast and it costs a lot of money. Stocking up. I don't mind. I know some people believe in having a whole grocery store. And she says she doesn't mind, but she's won't stop talking about it. I get that. I understand. They got to do what you got to do in your home. But let's start with something. Something. Because I got to find, I got to find a better space for what I'm using. And uh, just, it's all about. We all told her when she moved in this house that she put everything in the wrong spot. And she said, I just want to live here for a while and try it out. No, she was just too lazy to move it. Trial and error and figure out where it goes. So let me get my steps to a little empty. One is done. That's a good thing. So what I'm going to do is I remember I got those shelf. Look at all that food in there, all that garbage. What the heck? Um, like to put the shelf holders. Plastic. The wood is supposed to fit right here. But since it's warped a little bit because of heat, you know, it's hot. It's fix it. Miss fix it, Amy. And her belly looking big. Here, So the wood sits on top. On what side? So the if you're pregnant, you should not be climbing up this. You're 47 years old. That's a high risk pregnancy. Shelf is even. So I got some metal. And if not, you're 47 years old. You got a high risk hip injury. Which should work a lot better. These shelves in here are so. Look at her trying to turn around and stand on that stuff. Amy, you could really afford to fall and break your shoulder or something, right? Yeah. Greg's going to hold the family together for you, right? Oh. I don't even know why I trust anything on here, but these are my tallest things. So she doesn't know why she trusts anything on here, but she put her, her most heavy glass items up there. This I can take apart, but I think these are my tallest things. Everything else is like a pan. So let me put this over here. Careful on the camera right here. So as long as it doesn't slide down, this is good, but I don't need this standing up all the time. So I can probably take this apart. Okay, so I think I got all the glass stuff in there for now. This will be just like go in and pick it out. So the only thing that didn't fit was like my egg. What else would you do, Amy? Use a robotic arm and pick it out? Like, of course you're gonna go in there and pick it out. Holder, I have a bigger round bowl, and I think I got that at Goodwill. And I like to keep them because they're nice um, pans, but they just, rare, we rarely use them, and then my. Why keep them? You're never gonna have a party. You never have good food. All you need is paper plates. Um, plastic cake stand, that one that I got the cover. Not the one today, the other one. So I put that up in the shelf for now until we figure out where to go. But this, there's all the glass stuff in here. Okay, that's good. So now I gotta find a spot for me while we're in progress of doing this. I'm not planning to do this all today. She got all this stuff in here on the floor. This house is a nasty mess. I'll do as much as I can. So we put the other food, see how much we get the cupboard over here. Everything over there, I fit in here. Now she's in a different cupboard all the way at the top. So on the very what is that? Is those bugs? Tap, what you can't see is our emergency hurricane dish. There's ramen, there's macaroni and cheese. I think those are holes, not bugs. It's just the cheese, so you don't have to add any milk. That's up there in the diet cheese for Jensen. That's up there, and I put... Look at all this barbecue sauce she has. Full sugar barbecue sauce. Your kids don't need that. A couple of two liters of soda up there. So she got things of uh, Chick-fil-A sauce, too. That we use for our slushy, and there's some lemon juice because we don't need that that much. And then all the big things sit in here. I still have a whole bunch of space. I left this kind of open because when we get extra mustard, that kind of stuff goes in here. And then I was able to fit these down here. So this worked out just by putting things like this. This works. So let me go in the kitchen. Let's work on the food now. So she literally just put food in a cupboard and then she showed us and says, this works. Like, yeah, Amy, that's how you put food in cupboards. Do you need a clap? Yay, Amy. I should start throwing you dog treats. So I feel like this is good. This is the chicken. Yum, stringy chicken in the crock pot. It is all doesn't have no flavor. Done. I know it's all done, but it was cooked and I put a little bit. Yum, look at it. Chicken broth bouillon in it and I put some. Um, chicken bouillon. She wanted to make sure it has a lot of sodium in it. Used to be like a seasoning. I thought it was, it's like a complete seasoning. Saison, but she doesn't know how to say Saison because it's foreign. And Amy, anything that's a little bit foreign, Amy can't deal with because she doesn't like foreigners because she's a bigot. I mean, so it worked. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in bags. Perfect, look at that. And then we're gonna freeze it. Fucking tacos tonight. Yum, I can't wait to eat some of that frozen chicken grinded meat. I'm just going to take Doritos and squish them. Squish them, squish them up. She has to squish them because only she and Greg gets to eat actual chips, like whole chips. 
And from the big bag. I have, do I have a bag back there? Look at her hair. She's all wild. Let me go see. Doritos, and then we'll do lettuce, and we'll do the taco meat. And I have regular cheese and the diet cheese for Jensen, and then we can put sour cream on it. Yeah, we got to have diet cheese for Jensen because he has stomach issues, and you got to mention it for like the fifth or sixth time. How embarrassing for Jensen. What a troll you are, Amy. You are so cut off from reality. Like, could you imagine what a cow you would have, Amy, if somebody talked about your diarrhea five times in one vlog? You would be so upset, but you don't care. Your 13-year-old son, he doesn't deserve any privacy. Nope, just... He's blasting in the bathroom, guys. His bubble guts are bubbling away. Don't worry. I bought him some good cheese. I don't want to change his diet and help him out. I'm just going to get him the cheese that makes him not have bubble guts. Get out of here, Amy. Won't you try helping Jensen change his diet so he doesn't have bubble guts anymore? You're a bad mom. You're a bad person. Or tomatoes, whatever they want to chop up on top of it. So that's going to be dinner, which is good. I'm like... Easy. So I'm like looking at my time. I'm like, okay, I only have a little bit more. I got to run autumn. So she's got somewhere to go. The beans are not done yet. And that's okay. Where's Gregory? You said he's at work. No, he just doesn't want to drive these kids around. Okay. What I might do. I have a huge thing. He's probably back here in the back. That's why she closed the gate, closed the blinds down. Cause he's back there in his rash guard playing with the pool. Here. Sometimes if they take a long time, just turn them like on a low setting. Just let them go overnight. They're going to be fine. As long as there's water in there and a slow cooker, especially it'll make them super soft. And then I'll put them in the food processor and that'll work. So I kind of move some stuff around the bottom. So those, um, my slow cooker would fit in there perfectly. Well, have good thinking, Amy, man, I'm so glad you can fit that in there because it's, you know, you don't have very many cupboards without having to move a bunch of stuff every single time I opened it. But I'm feeling good. Like, yes, there's big giant mess everywhere. I feel like there's piles of stuff everywhere, but I'm getting somewhere. And I know I'm not gonna but she got three things done, guys. Come on. Now she has more processed food in her cupboards for her kids. She re-upped on her ramen. She's happy. Be happy with her. Next few days, maybe next week, I'll have things like how I want them. So what I'm going to do, I just filled my water up all the way. I drank almost a whole one. It's already like four. It's one. It's four o'clock and it took you till four o'clock to drink, what, 40 ounces of water? You're so pathetic, Amy. How many ounces of water have your children drank? How many ounces of water did Maddie drink? So put some more vitamin C in it, and then I'm going to go upstairs, pull the footage off this so I can start editing a little bit, because I'm going to have to run out the door here in a little bit and take autumn. And I want to be done for the day, because I want to go in my pool tonight and enjoy just relaxing. I've been upstairs in my office getting today's video edited. What'd you come running back over this way for? Why did you cut it like that? <sighs> quickly, hurriedly, because I need to, um, after work. Everything's quickly, hurriedly. That's your life. Because nothing is planned out, and nothing is taken an actual good amount of time on you don't take your time on anything you do and it shows look at you look at your house and look at your food i don't take one of my kids out look at your channel it's failing you're losing subscribers look at your family it's failing you leave behind your children so dinner what i did is i grabbed these squish them squish them up ruin them make sure that the kids can't enjoy them they're still going to taste just the same, and they're still going to be just as unhealthy for them. But squish them up so they can enjoy them. Yeah, I'm going to put those in a bowl right here. And then they can reach their hands in and get them because we love germs. The more, the merrier. And that's it. I'll have to head out. There's her kids yelling again because her kids don't have any respect. And, um, dinner is made. Their neighbors must love them. So what they'll do is I just heat up the meat. So it's basically put down Doritos down, put a bunch of lettuce down, take the taco meat. You can do salsa. There's cheese for um, both kinds. And that's it. My beans are almost done. I don't know. The beans are not going to be done. Amy never thinks about anything ahead of time. Had she defrosted the beans, she would have found out yesterday that it was soup cream of chicken or cream of mushroom soup but she didn't because she never thinks ahead because amy doesn't care about her channel she cares about getting a video out and making money if, if i do them tonight maybe i'll just film them this is here they're almost there they're just, I just the kids stuff is in the exact same spots it was in they did not touch them they did not do school work turn them down to low so i think that i'm just going to close today's video so i feel like today was a great day even though i have a big pile of stuff down my um, butler's pantry hallway so this was the second video she was shopping the first video the second video she tore a couple things out of the closet 
We'll get to some more tomorrow, hopefully. And tomorrow we get to look forward to more pantry cleaning. Uh, maybe on Friday. We'll see. <laughs> so, but when I got she told me that, I almost puked. Something's done today, so I'm feeling really good about that. So I thank you guys for watching. You have a fantastic... It's crazy that she supposedly worked all day, but her house still looks like this. Take rest of your day. You guys have been a great day today. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday morning to you. Yay, there's her beans. They're back. There's all of her processed food. It's like it never changed. It's a whole new day, but it's like everything stayed the same. You, I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. I'm up and ready for my day. Today is going to be a busy running day for me. So I'm going to try to get as much as I can get done before I have to do some running. I have a lot of I have Brooklyn to take to work, and then I have the girls have an event to go to today. So it's a little... Oh, this is the event. This is the mother-daughter event that she won't go to. Bit of back and forth. Just her kids. Other moms go, but not Amy. Amy, what happened? You used to go to church all the time. You used to actually work with the kids at the church. Why Why don't you want to go to church anymore, Amy? You know that it's a bigger sin to turn away from God than to have never known God at all. Okay, just get up, start my day. So I'm going to start out. I went upstairs, got my list, and I'm like, what do I have to do today? Food-wise, meals, I don't think I need to make anything. I'm pretty sure. Of course she doesn't need to make anything. She bought so much processed food. They're, they are good. They can have ramen, hamburgers, hot dogs, she don't need, oh, oh, and I'll bet you some of that tater tot casserole still in there. Oh, and they got tons of cereal. So there's enough. They better fend for themselves. Leftovers in the fridge are pizza, uh, taco things we made last night, and tater tot casserole and their sandwiches. And if we need anything for dinner, we'll probably do like a breakfast for dinner. Maybe like an egg sandwich, egg bagel, something like that for dinner tonight is what I'm thinking. Yeah, like an egg sandwich or a bagel, of course. Make it easy for yourself, Amy. The easier, the better. Thinking just for, I'm only gonna have a few kids here, so just to make it easier, I'm thinking that's what we'll do for food. So I'm gonna do anything, but I was gonna make a treat out today, but I do. Imagine what she's gonna be like when she only has three kids living with her. They're gonna eat McDonald's every single meal. I have another one where you just basically gather snacks and like different things that you purchase at the store. Pre made snack mix. So I'm gonna do just by. Why do you always have to make a snack mix? Why? Why can't you just let them have the snacks? Why do you always have to mix them together? Make them touch everything. When they have to reach into a snack mix, they touch things, right? Their fingers are dirty. It gets on the other food, so they share all the germs. When you make a snack mix, you touch everything, so they share all your germs. Stop mixing everything. Just let them have a gosh darn snack for once. Buy some cookies. Give them a serving of the cookies. Let them enjoy. Man, you have to make everything difficult and into some type of weird video just so that your kids can enjoy it, but you can make a video and get paid for it. Put that in a nice jar. Leave it on the counter. It'll be something fun just to... Yeah, leave it on the counter in a jar so they can reach their hands into it. And you just said that they're all sick. Grab and eat. So my beans are done. They're well overdone. Left them on last night. They are nice and soft. They will puree up fine. I'm going to put in my food process. One of her followers asked how she made her beans, and of course she didn't tell him. She said she put them in a freezer, or she blended them and put them in the freezer. All she did was take beans, put some water in, and cook them all night. She did not put salt, she did not put any flavoring, she didn't put onions, she didn't put peppers, she didn't put anything in here. And then she's gonna blend them up into a bean smoothie and put them in the freezer. And then she feeds them to her kids like they're refried beans. She's a sicko and she doesn't care because Amy has no taste buds. She doesn't care. With, I think she burnt all of her taste buds straight out of her mouth. And so she can't taste, so she doesn't care. It's good. It's great. It's delicious. The puree and put them in square containers. So I remember which ones are beans and not chill, uh, cream mushroom soup. And then I'm going to go back to my pantry and keep working back there. before. Unsalted, unsoaked, and just un like uncooked these are not cooked for people to enjoy anybody would get gas having these jensen probably doesn't even have bubble guts from milk jensen probably has bubble guts from always eating the uncooked food his mom makes incorrectly our beans all i did was the beans sat in the hot water all night yes they did and they did fine they're nice and soft i'm gonna put them in my food processor i've never used this one yet so i'm excited for the ninja she used it she just didn't use the food processor part one and then i just blend them up that's all i do some people refry them we don't my kids just like eating. then they're not refried beans if you don't if you don't refry them if you don't use oil 
They're not refried beans, okay? They're called blended pinto beans. And they're not refried beans. And these plants, just pinto beans, ground up. You put salt, I don't even put salt on them at all. So this tastes good. They like They don't taste good. Anybody right now can do an experiment. Cook yourself some beans and don't add salt and then blend them up and eat them. And they're going to taste like beans that are nasty and unflavored and gross. Your poor kids. Refried beans. So here's my beans with it. And they're perfect. You want to keep some of the liquid in there. Otherwise, it um, gets too dry and you have to add some more. Do it. So just put it in. What does it matter if you have to add more? Who cares? They're not flavored. Adding water is not going to hurt them. They're already unflavored. Oops. We're going to freeze it. The dish you should, instead of freezing it, chuck it into that big old ugly stinky garbage you got. Just I wash and put in the dishwasher. The dishwasher is already clean. And those are just in there to dry. It's just so it doesn't take a lot of space up here. Of course, we know. Your dishwasher doesn't work. It's just a drying rack. Got it. You don't have to tell us every time, just like Jensen's bubble guts. This was good. I'll put these, the refried beans, I'll let them sit for a little bit today, cool off, and then I'll put them in my freezer. That was just keep letting them sit. It's not like they were they they were out all night or anything. It's not like they haven't been out long enough. It's good. It's like I made like ten cans that I buy from the store, so not a bad deal for some dry pinto beans. So that's done. Wiped out my kitchen, so now I'm gonna. It's a bad deal for your kids who have to eat it. Move over to my area over here. I gotta get another band in. I cut my finger yesterday. Stop cutting your finger. You cut your finger because Greg sharpened all the knives and you don't know how to cut. How are you a homemaking channel with a video telling people how to cut and you still cannot cut? You took classes on how to cut and you still cannot cut anything. Produce, meat, anything. It's like, what? Amy, are you incapable of learning new skills? And um, we'll work over there. Okay, down the hallway. So my goal is to get... Yay, we're back in the hallway. We get to see her move her stuff around. All of this process junk even more. The first cupboard I got emptied, I'm going to do the second one. It's mostly snacks. I think I'm just going to plug her. Your whole house is all snacks and processed food, dude. Right in the wall. Yeah, so this was somebody's office with one plug, right, Amy? They plug their computer into here. They plug their, their lamp into here. Yeah, this was somebody's office. When you make your popcorn in here, you got to have, like, airflow. No, don't make your popcorn in here, Amy. It's going to get everywhere greasy. It's going to fill up. You probably cause a smoke fire. I can move it to the middle. Not bad. Okay, let's see. No, what just move it back outside when you cook with it. Nobody wants that greasy, smelly thing smelling up their house. Else, Remember, space is okay. So I did discover I have this huge can of beets. So I'm gonna bring Yay, Amy and her beets. Bring this out so that I eat this. So I focus on eating this this week. So I got stuff out for the mix I want to make later. We'll do that because I'm going to work. It's only 930 in the morning on school and stuff today and then um, I've got bag freezer bags and put over here leave the Greg's in there asleep I speed so and then uh, napkins need to go in the napkin holder what is that moving things making them work so this I got from the store she said when these were empty she was gonna wash them you think she's gonna wash them hell no I never filled up yeah she can stack a million bucks she brought these from North Carolina dirty 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 and she's just gonna put new stuff right on top no washing them is in your pantry but when you've got bugs and especially here in florida knowing you have bugs and you don't want to wash these out you know bugs are crawling on the outside when you open them up you touch the outside amy it's dirty just wash them like oh i i understand though you're too lazy little pantry moss is what we had all the time they're awful so that's why i store this stuff in sealed containers all my dry pasta and my rice things like that my flour because i don't want anything to get in it ruined so yes this takes up more space than containers but and it's not about looking Pinterest worthy. Look at that. That is not Pinterest worthy at all. Nothing in your house is Pinterest worthy. We are not asking you why you do things about Pinterest worthy. We're asking you about why do you do things like not wash these buckets out? Why do you do things like pour the new stuff right on top so all the old stuff on the bottom doesn't get eaten and it gets even older and nastier? But it's just about keeping the food. You choose to answer the questions you want to answer because you are a liar and a manipulator and you don't want to answer questions, so you don't. You've already told us that. Food to stay good. So let me pour these in here. The reason why is because I have to learn like how much is just... She has to learn how much is one pound because she has been cooking for 30 years for children and she does not know yet, guys. It's only been 30 years. Cut her some freaking slack. One package. Like so I'm going to fill these up, my flour and sugar, I don't mind putting on top because we're going to use it. 
Look at this. And then she wonders why they have bugs. They have critters. Why, Amy? This is sugar and flour. She just poured a whole cake onto the floor. And then she whooshed it around. And she doesn't sweep and mop. She usually just lets the robots take care of it. And then she wonders why she has a house full of critters. And her kids are always sick. <laughs> okay, put this back in here. So this will go. I'm thinking it, like I would like to put a cabinet over here. And then like an old dog. She hid all this old stuff back here. She hid all this from her last shopping trip back here. Like a dog hiding its bone and forgot about it. In my kitchen over there. Sometimes, yeah, you can make your own stuff. That's a good thing to do. But I was thinking more of like... Um, you never make your own stuff. When was the last time you actually made snacks from scratch, Amy? Like actual scratch. Not your crappy from a box. Nasty cookies. And making it. So I found that caramel apple cereal. So I thought we could put the balls in there with the chocolate balls. I'm thinking that and put some Oreo cookies and then chocolate, granite crackers, and then I'm gonna have, I was gonna buy chocolate covered pretzels and the price was like $6. I'm like, I can buy dark chocolate, or chocolate, this, and pretzels. And I'll have Maddie dip some and mix them. So we'll do that and then we'll add some M&Ms and some Reese's pieces. And I'm thinking just mix it up like a snack mix. So we've got a nice little jar we can put on the counter with it. I got this. I got one of those nice little. She's not gonna wash that before she puts stuff inside of it either. Glass. And how is this a good idea with your kids all being sick? Them reaching in to get handfuls of this stuff. That sounds like a really good idea when they're sick, right? So they can all share it. And then you wonder why you are out for a month and a half when your kids all get sick at the same time. Because they are wiping their bottoms and blowing their nose and they have no hand soap in the house. And then they reach in here and get some snacks. Good job. I saw people used to do it. They used to put like... Um, you know, they put cookies all a nice in a row. She saw the Kardashians do this 10 years ago, and now she wants to give it a go. All around, like a huge one, so I don't need a huge one, but this will be fun to put out on the counter. This is my mom used to always have these. Still, take a break from you guys. I gotta get my kids, they're moving and rolling. They get moving, and I'm gonna get up, and they have a slower morning. I'm good with that. A lot of people do school. If they have a slower morning, she says that every day. It's 10 o'clock. Her kids are still asleep. Of course they're still asleep, Amy. They have no bedtime and they have no wake-up time. Your kids don't do anything any day. They don't even have chores. And then we get our day started about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. That's how we do our school. So I'm going to do that. I'll see you in a minute. Amazon delivery. Three deodorant. This is cheaper on Amazon. Than Three deodorants, but you have more females that are needing deodorant. Maddie. Autumn. Brooklyn, Jaden, and you. Five women, but three deodorants. I guess Brooklyn and, and Jaden have to fend for themselves, right? At Walmart, so this is what we like. Works good. I finished my banana. I'm getting some vitamin C here. Um, got the vacuums going in the house. And How many packs of that vitamin C do you eat in a day, Amy? You know you're not supposed to have that many. Kids are. Up. There's like a limit. Up to another little morning routine for themselves. And extra can't be absorbed. It's just extra. You just pee it out. I have to. Um, what they'll do is they'll get breakfast. Make sure that you stir it really, really loud while you talk so that we can't hear you because your camera and your volume already suck. And get situated here before I get back. I have to take the stop her off real quick. Harder. Stir it harder. I'm going to run. The library has, I think Maddie's Anna Green gave this video, so I'm going to get that. Now I'll have to go to UPS. I might do that too. You know that we have a hard time hearing. You know that your followers have a hard time with the sound machine and everything else going on in the background. But make sure you stir that ice up extra freaking hard so that people that have on headphones, they get blasted out. A cable that did not work. So, if you let me see. So, I dropped a broken off. She's so ignorant. At work, and then I also stopped at the library and picked up. We have... The Anna Green Gables, the second. Yes, now Maddie has something to fall asleep to t tonight. One. So we didn't get to see this one. We saw the first one and the third one. Missed the second one. I don't know how that happened, but we did. So we'll get to watch that, which will be good. I have to run to UPS and drop this off. I bought this cord for our DVD player because we need to HDMI to this kind of US. This, whatever. It's 2023. Stream it. Who hooks up a DVD player? That's why you couldn't figure out how to do it because people don't do that anymore. Like... You bought a six hundred fifty thousand dollar house, and you want to hook up a DVD player in the living room. 
this is AC, the AC jacks and it did not work. So I'm gonna return this and drop this off right now. Then we'll go head back home and do school. Okay, home now, completely drove past the UPS. And I was like, I totally missed it. So I have it in my car. Look at the sunspots coming on her face. Each one of those are potential cancer. When I take the girls, I have to drop them off tonight for church. And so um, on that way, I'll be able to go get some. Okay, so what are you blurring out, Amy, a vagina? It doesn't make it right. Just because you blur, blur your vagina doesn't mean you should show it. Everybody should report if they feel that that was lewd because I feel that that was lewd. This video has minors in it. Not my version, but her version is very lewd. It has minors and then she blurs her vagina shot. What? This is her pretending to homeschool, guys. This is how she homeschools. She eats some popcorn with a rounded belly. She, yeah, looks around a little bit. Yeah, agree with the kids. Things are looking good. Popcorn's tasting good. Yeah, look at her. Oh, yeah, look, you guys did so good today. Uh, I bet you Maxine's sitting over there. She's teaching Maxine how to be a good girl and don't potty on the floor. Uh, you guys are so funny. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, right. She had four kids over here learning, right? Yeah, right. School is done. Finished up. Kids are but they're all gone now, and their books are just sitting there still in a pile. Doing their thing. We got another package. Tear their books are literally the same way they were, but she taught them. Ant kill killer. I like this. We have those tiny, tiny ants, like tiny. Those ants are because your house is nasty and dirty. It still works amazing. So I just got a big pack, and I tell the kids it's just... You better get that pack every month on the month because you're gonna always have bugs in Florida. Always, 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 always. Set them wherever, wherever, it's like wherever they conjugate. So you'll see. She just told her kid, she's an educator. She said, put this stuff wherever the ants conjugate. Conjugate, really, Amy? Are you sure you don't wanna Google home that definition? I have one in the kitchen window. You'll see them, they'll go in there to eat and then like that'll be it. And then like I'll see them somewhere else. So I'm trying to keep things picked up. And yeah, they're ants, Amy. They're eating your trash, your garbage, your muck that you live all, leave all around your house because you live in muck. You're a garbage can. Try to use these. So this works really good. What I'm do is I'm going to take some pretzels and make chocolate dip pretzels. Real? So her chocolate dip pretzels that are so easy and she put them in a short. This lady has ants all over her house because her house is dirty, but she has time to make chocolate dipped pretzels simple and we're gonna make a nice little mix of delicious foods real simple we're gonna make and save money these were what i don't even know what the price of these are they used to be a dollar i'm sure they're a dollar fifty now I they're 224 i don't even know i want to say this is three dollars maybe four you have to look it up but still cheaper than buying them like i think it was seven dollars for a small bag that was 347 okay, so i'm gonna get i'm thinking to dip them and then i and when you buy more what happens amy your kids eat more and when they eat more these are the same calories as if you would have bought the ones that were already made, but now you've created more, so your kids are going to eat more, which means they're going to have more bad food. So in the long run, you lose. You paid, what, 224 and 347 so you paid six, almost $7 for these, and the kids are going to eat more and be more unhealthy, and you have to make them. Why don't I use the bamboo sticks to like hang them on so then it drips off versus like laying them flat. Bamboo, bamboo sticks. Actually, always when you lay them flat, it gets everywhere. So I just have to lay those across something. They're called bamboo skewers, Amy. It's going to go in my microwave. I'll just have to watch it because I don't know my setting just yet. The dipping chocolate's never my like perfectness. This definitely melted really quickly. Which dipping, never her perfectness. It's good. A little better than the chocolate things. I got to vacuum my floor because it stopped. It had... Like a shelf, the little shelf piece got stuck in there and it was all full of dirt. I had to empty it, so it's a little bit behind. So I'm going to take out this dish right here. This right here, I'm thinking I can be able to put this right over top like this and let the... Yeah, you must be the most genius person in the world. You didn't think of this first of all, Amy. And second of all, it's not actually smart. Pretzels hang down. I'm going to see how that works, but I got to be able to dip them in here somehow. So She used the littlest bowl for dipping too. Let me get creative here. Has anybody else done this before? Or is this like a new way to do this? No, you must have made this all up, Amy. I feel like that is going to be a great way. 
for the chocolate not to stick. So let me do that again. For the chocolate not to stick to what? The actual pretzel? For the next one. I highly disappointed in the Walmart pretzels. Most of those were all broken and crushed, but this. We saw her cart. She probably tossed the pretzels into the cart and then smashed them with everything that was on top. I wouldn't blame Walmart if I were you, Amy. You break everything. Pretzels, I got one more little batch here. So that was half my chocolate. And I got way more chocolate pretzels than I would in my little container. I think this, to me, I feel like this is a genius way. I'm not even very, like, I feel like I hate doing pretzels because when you set them down, they always, if you don't dip, like, shake off all the access, when you set them down, they, they get this thing called a skirt. And it actually puts enough chocolate on the pretzel so that you have enough chocolate versus the salty pretzel taste. If you allow them to drip off the way you did, you do not have enough chocolate to cover the salty pretzel taste. You have a low chocolate to pretzel ratio. So good job, Amy. You made your pretzels not taste very good. They needed the skirt. The skirt gives them more chocolate. Flops on the ground, so this, it's gonna be great because they're all gonna be. It's not. Half of the chocolate dripped down into the pan. Who licked the pan? You? Smaller pieces to put in our mix. So let me do this last one and then we'll mix up the rest of the stuff. So this was her short. She can't clean her house, but she can make a short to put on YouTube. So she used this little tiny bowl. Like Amy always uses the wrong size of everything. And then she just scooped them with a skewer bopped them off and put them across here and look at all the chocolate that came off. All of that chocolate could have been in your mouth. You could have been ingesting it. Look at all that. That's all of the chocolate. These are things are so lightly covered. You could see the brown of the pretzel through the chocolate. Who wants a lightly covered chocolate pretzel? I want heavy chocolate. Where's the skirt? The skirt is because you lay down on a piece of parchment paper and you let it dry with chocolate around it. Not Amy. Amy ruins everything. Look at that. You could see the pretzels through it. If she would have laid this down and poured chocolate over top, it would have been covered with a skirt. Way better. Look at your nails, Amy. Go get something done with them. You show them close up, you're an influencer, and they look like trash. Just like the food that you feed your children. This is where we're going to get creative. I'm going to take this glass jar right here. How nice, simple lid. And I'm gonna layer a different food. Of course, she did not wash it out. I have Oreo cookies here. We have some chocolate graham cracker cookies, animal crackers. We have chocolate ball cereal, and then the caramel apple. This is good, it tastes like fruity, caramely cereal. We're like, okay, that's not a bad deal. And then um, some peanut M&Ms, Reese's Pieces, and the So the two types of cereals are both very, very high in calories. Everything is, and I figured out the calories on all of this and the price. If you buy, the only thing I forgot was the cookies. I didn't see those when, uh, when I first was doing it. I f left out the cookies for some reason. But everything else, if you total up all of this right here, we just add the cookies in there about $3. It's $45 for all of the candy. All of the items she uses. $45 if they eat everything. The total calories, if they eat everything, is 23,500 calories. The total sodium, if they eat everything here, is 15,000 calories. The total sugar, if they eat everything here, is 3,676 grams of sugar. This is a total of 185 ounces of food. That means that even if her children eat one ounce little you know, like a handful, like a little kid handful, an ounce, it will be 127 calories, 83 milligrams of sodium, and 20 grams of sugar. Guys, that is worse than eating a half of a Snickers bar. Yes, a handful of this snack mix is worse than eating a half of a Snickers bar. But guess what? It doesn't have the protein that a Snickers bar has. Amy doesn't care about her kids. She doesn't care about their health. She cares about how much can she feed them snacks for and keep them quiet. If all of this cost $43, do you know how much that amount of Snickers would have cost? Her kids could just eat a half of a Snickers instead of grab a pile of this. But Snickers for the same amount of ounces would cost her about $100.
at Walmart. So Amy is making sure her kids get the type of calories, sugar, and sodium that are in Snickers, but for half of the price. Shame on you, Amy. Shame on you for feeding your kids that way, unlimitedly. Some chocolate in there. Just layer it in the jar. Make it look all pretty. It'll be something fun. Just be able to go and get snacks. It's not pretty, and it's not fun. When they reach their hand in here, they're going to get everybody sick. When you touch all of this, you're going to give everybody your sickness. You said you've been tired and sick for weeks now. If you want it to be like fall like, it would get candy corns in there. I would get M&M. So all of this right here she touched on. All of this right here the kids are going to touch on. And they're sick. That are um, just the fall colors. That would help the color scheme of things. But And the caramel syrup. Maybe not leave that. But I It looks like she didn't get any, didn't give the kids very many of these chocolate covered pretzels. Or the candy, right? I did. It's like the, it's pink and green, so it's it's pretty. I don't care. This is my kitchen. You guys see it? I'm good, but I guarantee you, anybody just going to take that, it's going to be yummy. <laughs> so yeah, but a Snickers would have been more yummy. The rest, I'm going to mix in here, and then I'll and put it's it. just it. This is worse than a Snickers, and they could have just had a Snickers. Put it into um, another container. Snacks. Chocolate. So all of that was touched. She did that by hand. Chocolate variety snack versus just giving your kid a cookie, just giving him this. Mix it up. It's kind of like they probably would have enjoyed just having a cookie and it would have been less sugar and less sodium all at once, Amy. And they all wouldn't have touched everybody's food. The garbage bag snack mix. Sure, you can give them the goldfish and the other ones that cost more. Mix it in with some. But you'd rather them reach their hands in there and make sure that they're always sick. That might sound like Munchausen by proxy. It helps stretch it a little bit. This will be a fun treat. And then it's like, there's not very many candies in there. So when you get a candy, it's like, ooh, I got an M&M. So. so they're going to dig through for the candies and really make sure that they touch everything in there. Looking for an M&M. She put like five M&Ms in there and saved the other M&Ms and Reese's Pieces for her and Greg in the bedroom. She clipped the bags and saved about half of them for her. The rest, put it away and um, we're doing good. You see those over there? She saved half the bag for her and Greg. You don't need those, Amy. Not at all. You should have put them all in here for the kids so they wouldn't have to pick through for the good stuff. She touched every bit of that by, with her hands. She has no soap in her kitchen or her bathrooms, but she just touched every bit of that by hand, and her kids are going to eat all of that. Each one by hand. And remember, one handful, not one of these big handfuls, this is like three or four ounces, but one ounce of this is the same as a half of a Snickers bar. Actually, it's more sugar than a Snickers bar. Put pretzels in here, and then what this will do, you can store this in your freezer, and it will not go bad. It's like the garbage bag snack mix. We had that for months in our freezer. The you did not. You only had the garbage bell snack mix for like five weeks, Amy. You guys ate all of that, and it had higher calories than this. And it had all kinds of milk in it. Jensen can't have milk, remember? You know that these roos have milk in them? That's right. The only thing that's going to happen is your little M&M candy. Did you know that the, the cookies have milk in them? That's right. Why don't you look at the food more closely? Milk has lactose. He's lactose intolerant, right? So you give him milk in everything that has lactose. Duh. And then you wonder why he always has bubble guts and you always have to talk about it. You wonder why because you have to finger jam every single thing they eat. Um, from the coldness to the warm, it's going to want to separate a little bit of color, but it shouldn't be a big deal. So they're going to get all watery and nasty and moldy, but that's okay. Put them in the freezer. So, Don't let your kids just have a nice snack. Awesome. My kids are going to snack. We'll get a snack. And she opened it all up, so it's all going to get stale. She couldn't just, you know, let the kids have it when it tastes good. Little jar, so now I love it. Nice little fun snacks. Something chocolatey because everybody's been asking. Here it is. I don't even have to make anything. Taking a break for lunch. The walking tacos. All right, so we have just yum. Her squished up chips. So I'm still finishing my lunch here. That was delicious. Kids all came down. We kind of grabbed up everything, ate it up. We're gonna have an easy dinner tonight. We're either gonna do some eggs or I might do some ramen. I don't care. It's three kids. It'll be an easy way. Eggs or ramen? Because you have three kids, they have to suffer through eggs or ramen. That's disgusting. To do food. I got to pick Brooklyn up in just a few minutes. So, man, imagine your life revolving around some kids retail, meaning like Pizza Hut or Jack in the Box type of job. 
Have you ever had got something and you completely forgot that you got it? I did. A lot of you told me to get under cabinet LED lights. And when I lived Imagine living in a six hundred and fifty thousand dollar house and putting dollar store lights underneath your cupboards. Amy, you can get some installed that are real and will really look good. Please don't embarrass yourself with this kind of home improvement again. This is something your kids put in their room, not for you to put in a $650,000 kitchen when you're a homemaker and you shoot videos in that kitchen. No. So put them under your cabinet, but I just was like, eh, hey, one more thing to get. No big deal. Sticky tape on. Nothing's a big deal to you, Amy. You don't want anything unless you want it in that moment. Nothing. Please? Stick it to the ceiling. You hear our kids again yelling because they don't know how to be quiet. And then stick it on there. I've already charged them. The remote that uh, works for all three of them. So let me put these up and then we'll uh, see what they look like. They give you a lot of sticky. So I got like three per thing. So that's a good thing. Can it work like that? That looks way... I can see it. These are supposed to be hidden. You can see it hanging down. It looks real cheap and trashy. Just like everything else you buy for your house. Invest a little bit of money, Amy. This is a $650,000 kitchen that supposedly just got re remodeled. Stand for. They're actually, I think they're motion light. Okay, so I can have them off and I can just turn them on. That's, is that going to work? You're going to forget. And stop asking if it's going to work. Obviously, it's either going to work or it's not going to work. Look at how her kitchen looks crooked. You know why? Because she doesn't know how to film. Because I have lights in it now. But that's going to work for some lighted kitchen, I think. Yeah, good job. Some lighted kitchen. Okay, not bad. We'll see how they work. I'll see how they work and if they... um. She literally treats this house like a dorm room and feeds her children like they're on a college campus. I'll just turn them off because I'm not going to be in the kitchen anymore. See how they're going to be if they uh, battery, how much I have to charge it. So, my counter a little bit here. I might even see it, so I remember to take that. I just put that little... The little charcuterie thing, right? Her house is so loud all the time. No wonder she has so much anxiety and stress. It is so loud there. Spurgo comes home and puts his keys and his wallet all over the ledge, so that can be a nice place for that right now. They said, well, there's still stuff. I'll pick that up. I got my list of what I do every day. Why would you want his keys and stuff right there on your... That's gross. That'll go upstairs. Tell him to put him on his bedroom, walk a little bit further, and go put him ne near his bed. Here's and then I'm done in here, which is really good. I gotta go pick up Brooklyn here and then come back home. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go in that pool. Because She's gonna go jump in that pool and lay in her avocado. It is sunny and bright. Like I feel like I need some sunshine today. Yeah, your, su your skin looks like you need some sunblock today. Whenever you're like doing a lot or you get a little bit of a break, get some sunshine. Whenever here. she's doing a lot, whenever her belly looks that round. That's what I feel like I'm gonna do is go. Look at that. Swim for just an hour because then I have to take the. I'm not body shaming y'all. I think she's pregnant. And drop them off. We're gonna have an easy night for dinner. I'm not gonna do a whole bunch more filming because I got all the work I wanted to get done done. But if I wanted to body shame her, I would because she looks like she's gained about 60 pounds since she shared the video saying that she lost 70 pounds and she needs to be a healthy mama. Well, you're not being a healthy mama, Amy, are you? Her up and then come back. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Brooklyn. It's nice and toasty outside. I, I Look at this pool. Look at how dirty this pool is. Poor kids. They get in this pool, they're gonna get an infection. I am going to take a break. I've got about 20 She said take a break like she worked so hard today. Minutes. That's it. I think about a half hour actually, they told me. And then um, I'm gonna go in the pool. Get so she gotta drop the kids off in a half an hour, but she's gonna get in the pool. Amy, you don't get in the pool. You sit and put your feet in the pool and you get sun. I go sit over There's the no way you're gonna go swimming and then go leave 30 minutes from now after you got in the pool. And if so, yuck. You just go drive around all wet. In the sun, swim for a little bit because it's hot, it's gorgeous out. The bottom looks like it has so much green mold. And a pool you might as well use it so i'm gonna go use go swim for a little bit if you got a pool you might as well clean it my max scenes over here okay so i got a few minutes outside swim for about i don't know 15 minutes she didn't swim she sat by the pool why do you say you swim why so you could lie and the people could call you out on those lies stop lying don't be a liar
and Jensen came out. We sat in the sun. He loves sun like his mama. So we sat in the sun for about 15 minutes, and that was it. Got ready, and then I'm like, okay. In the so Jensen, he loves sun like his mama, and he's got bubble guts. Wow, I'm so glad your your followers know so much about Jensen. Car, I said to drop the girls off. And we're talking about a kid who doesn't even like to be filmed. This guy on his birthday, the only thing he would let her film of him was his hand. But she's telling the world about his bubble guts. So I drop them off. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drop at UPS finally and return the cord. And then I'm She's going to go drop the kids off at their mother-daughter convention, but not with their mother because, you know, she can't go be bothered with that. I'm gonna head home. I've got to eat. I wonder why Gay Greg doesn't ever hang out or spend time with the kids. You know, I got three kids. Three little kids. Like while she's gone. And they're not little kids, Amy. You act like little kids. They're five, six, and seven. No, your kids are 11, 12, and 13. What is that night? Jensen's literally 13, a teenager. Little, three older kids. <laughs> three middle school kids. And so easy, easy night. And I'll be able to finish today's video and call it a night. All right. So I am home. And now I just dropped off the girls and came, went to drop. This mark right here might be concerning for cancer, Amy. Maybe you should get it checked. Off the thing at UPS. This one too. It's getting lumpety. And got home. I know you don't pay attention to your face, but all of these marks right here are changing. They're getting more big and more lumpety. So the kids are here, and we are, um, there is still a bowl of tater tot casserole left. Greg said he'd eat that. And then, oh, the water. Don't drink the bowl of water. Okay. Greg's going to drink, or Greg's going to eat the tater tot casserole finally. No, he's not. Nobody's going to eat that. They're going to have to throw it away. Greg, if you eat that, you are a soldier, man. Especially after she just went and bought all that processed food, you could just have a hot dog or a hamburger. Drink the salt water. That can't be. Good. I'd rather have a bologna sandwich. Don't drink it. No, no, don't drink it. Anyways, she has to drink it. She probably don't have no water in the house. It's hot outside. You don't make sure she has water. So the kids were like, you sure, don't take her for a walk. There's only three kids, so they're gonna have ramen tonight. We've got lots of fruit. When do you guys not have ramen and macaroni and cheese, Amy? When? 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 And veggies. I'm gonna make a couple trays of fruit and veggies just on each individual plate based on which one they want. And that's it. Yeah, right. She's gonna put fruits and veggies on their tray. Yeah, right. And then we'll probably either I don't know. We got the Anna Green Gables movie. I'll see if Maddie wants to watch that, or we might come swim. Yeah, what a good night for Maddie. Go watch Anna Green Gables. Enjoy our evening out. We don't have to go out anymore, which is really nice. So we'll see how the rest of our evening goes. But for now, I'm gonna close today's video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Getting some stuff done. Making the chocolate snack that was. She said getting stuff done, but like her house is still filthy. She always complains her house is dirty and she doesn't clean it. She made stuff or snack mix rather than clean her house. She is going to give her kids diabetes rather than clean her house. Like you're not a homemaker, Amy. You're literally a nightmare maker. It's amazing. Just a little things like some cereal and cookies and just a couple pieces of candy. It's just a nice little treat once. Yeah, it's a nice little treat. Just give you cancer, give you high cholesterol, give you diabetes. It literally is too much sugar. Do not let them. Ha Just imagine those kids sitting there eating handfuls of that. If they eat three handfuls, that's like eating one and a half Snickers, guys. It's got more sugar in it than one and a half Snickers. Amy, shame on you. You have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Her face is so sun, sun wasted, guys. I would say sunburnt or sun damaged, but it is wasted by the sun. Anyway, guys, this is the end. We got three of them caught up, so I think that we are a Friday fragments and a Monday motivation away from being caught up, and. That's great. So I will see you guys in the next one. I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye neighbors.